Hello and welcome to another episode of the Never A Straight Answer podcast, the podcast that aims to cover a wide range of topics from conspiracy theories to popular culture and news. I'm your host Gaz and joining me in the studio, well, he's always on Santa's nice list, but this year with the heating costs and stuff, he's asked a big guy for some coal. Well, he's my co-host, he's Mr. Taylor. Yeah, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas indeed. Yeah. And thank you and joining us for on a, actually it is our very exciting Christmas on a budget special. It is. Uh thank you for joining us for this week's show. Whether you are a Yule Tide new listener or a repeat offender with baubles on. Keep repeating. We're here for you. We are. Um yeah, it's gonna be a good episode. Um on this week's show. Yeah. We've got a variety of things, yeah. including how Christmas on a budget. Yeah, oh, um, yeah. What are your budget budgeting heat, years? Budget heating options. Well, yeah. loads of those. Yeah, oh yeah. And um, we've also got. Um, it sounds like we're going to be one of those sort of like watchdog shows. No, no, we're not. <laughs> yeah, no. We're not. no. Uh, best Christmas gifts of the year, or yeah. best Christmas gifts of twenty twenty two. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Also, it's been a variety of Christmas movies that have been uh, coming out this year. I yeah. mean, Christmas movies is one of those, isn't it? Because it's like you got your classics, yeah. but trying to pitch for a new classic, it's a bit of a difficult job to do. Yeah. Who's I mean, this message in me here at this time? can't be a lot. A lot of them that's come out this year. I I'll get some noticed. little Christmas tunes going on in the background. Because it is our Christmas show. It is. We want to keep is. festive. Yeah. We've, yeah. Got a lot of, oh, we've got a lot of Christmas cheer to deliver this year. We have. Big sackfuls. Oh, yeah. So, Santa likes big sackfuls. It's all good. It's all coming up. In the show shortly, plus this week's random events, including this week's NASA news, this week's Kanye news, oh, and yeah. this week's Na- all the rest of the news. Normal news, yeah. All yeah, good yeah. news. Yeah. But, obviously, Rose. it is cold at the moment. I'm sure you'll agree, yeah, Taylor. Freezing my tits off. My nipples are like fucking football stuff. Minuses, mate. minuses it was, right? Yeah. Like, I've been waking up cold, shivering in the middle of the night, mate. Because, oh, like, it that wakes that, me up. Honest. Do you know what I mean? I prefer cold when I'm sleeping. I now. don't mind it, but do you know, like, when you stick your leg out of the duvet and you're like, oh, oh just get a bit of kind of like, it just keeps you, regulates your temperature, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah. It feels beautiful. I like beautiful. that, but yeah. that's what's been waking me up because it's getting so cold that, you know, you just kind of go, oh, and it snaps you out of your sleep, but... Oh, just, yeah. Anyway. I've just realised I haven't I've got lights on. He's not even put his Christmas lights on. The Christmas tree's up. Or no Christmas lights on. And then he chooses He chooses now during the show to get up and do it all. Only been sat here for hours. Anyway, well, I've been wanting to get flashed at, so now I'm getting flashed at every second. That's illegal. Um, uh, yeah, well, cold. I mean, what was it the other day? Minus seven, minus nine. Minus I think eleven. It was minus nine yeah. when I woke up one morning. So you're saying minus eleven up here? Well, yeah, we had minus eleven. Yeah, what yeah. is is a question for you, Mister Taylor? Yeah. Um, what's the coldest temperature ever recorded during the UK in winter? UK. In the UK, what is the coldest temperature ever recorded? I think. Could it be that high? Uh, for some reason, in my in my head, it's going thirty-seven. Well, you cl- well, you are in the bo- not in the ballpark. You're kind of close. So the coldest temperature ever recorded during a UK winter was minus twenty-seven point two Celsius. Right, and okay. that is hey, absolutely that is brass freezing, monkeys, yeah. if you ask me. Yeah, and all the all, all the metal pipings and stuff that would have been split as well. This is what I worry about. You yeah, see, like you know, we're going on about our central heating systems and stuff like that. Yeah, Shit, but a lot of people yeah, are on outdated systems, and um, you know, the bad bad systems basically. So yeah. it's like if the you know it gets so cold that you. Your pipes start freezing up and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty shit. I mean, but especially it's it's like too now. Serious. At the moment, we're like, oh, we can't put the heating on because it's costing so much. Yeah. And we've got to wait a little or just put it on an hour at a time. Do you know, like... Hey, rationing's what, coming up Warm soon, the house mate. up in the morning and maybe at the evening. But... They're looking at rationing. You know, but is, it, uh, is your system more at risk because it's not being used? It's not being functional and it's just sat there dormant for those hours? Do you know what I mean? Well, I, is it going to ruin your system overall by not using it? Is what I'm saying. Well, yeah, in a long period, yeah, but Maybe. in a short period, I wouldn't thought so. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I mean, obviously, some people no. have got like brand new systems or like smart systems, but yeah. if you do have an old one, I think there are services that'll um, help you out or kind of come and do a service on it. In fact, 
there was a guy yeah, yeah, on yeah. the news recently mm. who was doing just that. He was basically um, p- um, posting out, you know, his availability and saying, "I'm a, I'm will, I'm a Corgi registered heating engineer. I'll yeah, come out and, check and I'll your come and check check <laughs> yeah. out your plumbing, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and he was doing it for free as a gesture <laughs> gesture of goodwill because obviously there's a lot of people who need. The, get, the central yeah. heating going. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. It's not cheap. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, um, yeah. So I mean, we want, to, and this is the thing. This is why I thought it'd be nice. Mm. Yeah, to look at a couple of options later on. You yeah. Know, like because yeah. there are other options that you can use to keep warm there over are. the winter. Uh, yeah, there are. There are like more clothes. Layer, <laughs> layer up. Layer buddy. up, but I'm not a, too I'm much. You don't want hypothermia. I'm an advocate of layering up. Yeah, right. I'm yeah, always I getting poked fun at honest. because like, they'll be like, how many layers are you wearing? And I'm yeah. like, well, two T-shirts, a jumper, a hoodie, and a coat. Why? What's up? Yeah. They'll be like, yeah. well, firstly, right, I'm, I like it. I like having that warmth. I like being warm and regulating my own body temperature. I don't yeah. like it in the summer when it's too hot yeah. and you can't yeah. get cool. Yeah. In the winter, yeah. at least you can kind of go, yeah, I prefer the it's winter getting a little summer. chilly. I'll yeah. pop another jumper on. Yeah, exactly. You get that. Yeah. It, it's I'll a different sit experience, by the fire. It, really. Uh, yeah. You think about it. Um, yeah, I wish I had a roaring sort of uh, wood burning fire. At Christmas, especially. Well, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it is quite it brings you know a bit what? of atmosphere into the. Um, you're, you're a fucking mind reader because I was thinking of that. Like, saves literally your money. yesterday, saves I was you thinking, a lot of money. you know, a, down a nice to the little, woods. a nice little, a nice little cabin with like a wood fire and you know, a couple Idyllic of chairs as and anything. Like, yeah, that, and that sounds lovely. What yeah. is that for Christmas? Yeah, or just yeah, generally. Well, just generally, you know. What Sound I mean? like, like a hillbilly. Yeah. I'm off to the lake, get myself well, a yeah, fish. Oh yeah, nice little place to go off to, you know, chill out and you know, relax, stay away from you know, uh, like the the rush of the world. Uh, that you know, by that, the time I get back after about a weekend, it'd be you like know what? That, all the technology that, been changed actually again. Actually, really nice idea as well because I mean, thinking about a budget Christmas, yeah. like you know, one thing about Christmas is you know the expense. Right, oh, yeah, it's fr- and the idea that the you years. know you give in and you're spending money. Yeah. And, I mean, obviously Christmas is a big thing about giving. Um, yeah, people, but you, you can only give what you uh, you can. Yeah, exactly. But I feel like oh, no. sometimes, right, by giving, yeah, yeah, you're creating an obligation. Yeah, so yes. the other person yeah, then feels yeah. obligated that they need to get you something. Yeah, so then you know it's. I mean, it's more kind of shopping. And uh, more spending, uh, yeah, but true. sometimes do you not feel like the other person might be like, "Well, the better gift is you just not giving me that obligation to fulfil." Do you know what I mean? Well, I by you we're... not buying me anything, you've made you've kind of broken the contract by saying, "Oh, well, I don't have to get you anything now," which is actually better for me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And well, not, I, 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 I kind of like having something to open, and I yeah. like giving things it's to good people. To have a little surprise here. So, you know, I think April it depends Fools? who you are, and yeah. you know, like if you if you enjoy giving, then that's crack then taking, on. You yeah. crack on, yeah. Um, well, I I, I'd love I to think know actually, what the listeners think about that. I mean, do you think that? I like, think we're missing the or the whole experience. Do you think of that um, Christmas you should just be giving to your immediate family? Do you, do we take it to an extreme by kind of including friends and co-workers in the gift giving tradition? Do you know? Do we by personal choice? Do you know isn't shrinking it, the it the down to more modest, like you were saying, like a little cabin with yeah. you know a homemade Christmas? Yeah. Does that kind of appeal or? Yeah, Does you it all know have what? to be the latest technology and, you know, the gluttonous food? And uh, I'd probably prefer that than actually, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, all the presents and all the stuff that comes around with it. It'd be like, I nice got, little break. I got myself some ta- sit a back, tangerine relax. and some nuts. Yeah, sit back, get my, my get my thoughts together and, like, you know, a new year. What am I going to, what are my goals for this year, you know? Do some stuff like that and, like, right. you know. Fair enough. Think of, uh, think of the uh, where we're going, but I think we're we're missing the the part of uh, the Christmas experience because well, it's not all about the presents of that. It's all about you, the, the the time with your family. And during friends. this episode, Taylor will be visited by free spirits. All oh, right, Ooh, a vodka, a right. brandy, and a whiskey. Oh, hey. No, nah, forget the whiskey, man. Yeah, I, I can't take it. It's too sweet. All right, a Bacardi, whatever, rum. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'll take rum, um, yeah, rum, vodka, and. Uh, so See. well, before we get into all the Christmassy yeah, stuff, Bailey's. have you done? You, oh, I'll ask you. Yeah. What have you been up to this week, Mister Taylor? Christmas shopping. Have you been uh, doing your shopping? Have you got oh, it all done? Uh, I've got 
one person to get. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've only got yeah. one person to oh, get as well. There's always one, right. isn't there, at the end, struggling. Yeah. Awkward, um, but... but yeah. No, two people, actually, thinking. Yeah. Would you know... I mean, this is a, th- and a statistic dog. for you, um, that one in three men yeah. leave their Christmas shopping until actually Christmas Eve. Yeah, garages only down the road. Yeah, That's you can it. get everything now in, in one Again, place, like Tesco's people or... People joke, or what stuff. you can you get from a garage, but you can get a bag of coal. Quite a lot, yeah. And that's pretty yeah, handy exactly. at the moment, oh, so you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So if anyone's fire thinking... Lighters, if any, yeah. I, I've bought fire lighters just in case. I've got... Uh, yeah, but you didn't give them as a present, or are they just an emergency present? You emergency. Keep, I'll keep them aside just in case. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know somebody who might need them, actually. Yeah, me when I need a brewing, when you, like, all the electrics your, going um, off. you log fire going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, get a log fire. So, yeah, so you've done your Christmas shopping. Yeah. Um, how did you Enjoy. find the, sh- the, the actual uh, process? Because... I know we'll get into it a bit more later on, but these strikes going on in the UK with the yeah. Royal Mail, a load of which means on the road. people who relied on, um, you know, Amazon and people yeah, getting, shopping online. Yeah. Well, they should be. Had, they, the people had been told before they weren't guaranteed they were warned. that their goods weren't going to arrive before Christmas, which means there's a lot more people hitting the high street. Yeah. To do the Christmas shopping. So, did you find it um, busy? Where did you, no. did you. No. Did you handle it? Was it quite a nice shopping experience? Right. One day I, uh, uh, I couldn't get out, so I did a, a, did a little bit online, sorted out, right? Sorted a couple of presents there. Then the day after, went down to the uh, uh, couple of shops with my bro, bang, got a. Uh, so you've done a mix. So a do, do you know the um, got a little bit more when you today. say you've ordered online, have they all been delivered? Everything yeah. cool? Done. Oh, brilliant! Because yeah, yeah, I know yeah, yesterday yeah. was actually the last day for first class post. Was it? Yeah, yeah. So hey. like, if you were to post anything from today, obviously it won't arrive in time. Um, depending anyway, because of the strikes. Um, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. got be you'd be lucky if you if you order now and get it. You're not getting it now. No, Sos. probably not. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but you can always, you know. You can always put your order you, in with Santa. And you can always say to the person, like, look, you've had a load of presents, uh, like, or a few presents now, but I've got you one later on, you know what I mean? So you can experience another day where you get that, uh, and you've got them couple of days oh, where you're like, oh, oh you know what, I've got up. another one on the way, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, Keeps yeah. Ch- that, do you know that never Psych- used to happen? Psychologically, though, but it, it keep the, you know, a little the, bit the of the... dream alive. Yeah. For keeping the spirit yeah. of Christmas alive for one Instead more day. Instead of after Boxing Day, it's like, right, it's all over, pack the shit up, let's get starting the year off. You know Boxing Day? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I wanted to set this straight with our American friends, because they don't have Boxing Day. Right, and yeah, um, right. you know, there was a you know whether they understand what Boxing Day is about. Uh, beer, football, <laughs> uh, uh, food, lots of food, and sitting on the couch watching, watching footy. But we don't box. We don't beat each other up. It's not about frustration. No, with Christmas. No, where we all no. That's Christmas Day because you know all the out. families have an argument in Christmas Day. Majority of families do. Uncle Nobed walks in and says something wrong and that's it, it's all kicking off or something. You know it's always I mean? an Uncle Nobed, isn't yeah. it? Oh, um, uh, yeah. So, yeah, but... And um, if you don't know, if you haven't got an Uncle no- Nobed in your family, you're the Uncle Nobed. Well, it's... Um, it, basically, it's a mid-19th century custom yeah. of giving um, uh, the Christmas... What is it? Christmas, uh, getting rid of the Christmas boxes from Christmas Day. Ah, see, so it's a uh, bin day. It's basically bin yeah, day. Bin day it's a posh bin day. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, true, yeah. So yeah, just yeah, getting rid of, true. just getting rid of all. Yeah, the but crap, then you got to wait a month for your bins to be emptied. Then and so you know. I mean, if you're waiting till Boxing Day to get rid of all the wrapping and boxes anyway, then you need to pull your finger out. Do you know what I mean? And you know, do a bit of cleaning on the day. You can't just be leaving all that crap lying around. Kids, yeah, and it's quite a lot a of waste as well. And it's still with we're we're on about that like climate, true. and there is yeah. still shit that loads is, of waste. That is really true, actually, because like you know, I mean, papers you can recycle it. Yeah. But how ma- how much Christmas paper is recycled every year? How much energy how is much... needed to recycle it as well? Maybe all that Christmas paper could be put into like you know one of the reactors. And create a bit more power for us. Yeah, but, yeah, well, some chipping or something. I don't know. Some maybe. Well, someone's got to have a bright idea out there. Obviously, he's not the fucking government, but some <laughs> some smart ass to write well, paper and send it to the guns. Yeah. Um, talking about funny days. Yeah. yeah. So you've got um, Boxing Day. 
Like yeah, can yeah, America, yeah, the Americans yeah. like don't have Boxing Day. I mean, maybe they do. Do they have a day off though? They just they do oh, have they just the day go back off. to usually, work the day after. Usually, it's just the day after Christmas. I think. Well, right, okay. Um, they, well, we take on their trend, so you know, I think they should take on our I trend. I think that actually, yeah. If you go and if, take if, our Boxing Day, I mean, we we now got proms over here we've got oh, you know quite a lot yeah. of different traditions halloween kind of, halloween come over and a lot more of stronger uh, now. stuff that we kind of take from america so yeah, yeah, yeah i think um you know we could should celebrate boxing day from now on yeah yeah, yeah. If I that's think, okay with you I guys think some company like make a load of cards for boxing day bam you're gonna make a nice little fortune eh? you what you need is a signature dish a Boxing Day signature dish, which is usually yeah, you a, could have it like a, a turkey, turkey day, curry, yeah. turkey curry, basically curry day, curry day. Yeah, yeah. Hey, oh no, yeah. you don't want to call it curry day. You call it Boxing Day. But oh, traditionally, yeah. we do have occasionally, not traditionally, but occasionally turkey curry. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And or then whatever the trots you can the day make, after. whatever you can make out of curry. Well, that again is another statistic because actually, um, what is it? I think it's um, two and a half thousand people. Yeah. A year, yeah. End up actually. Sorry, I do apologize. Forty thousand people a year. Oh yeah, yeah. End up becoming sick yeah. the day after Christmas due to um, dodgy leftovers. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you know, you see a piece of meat on the on a platter. It's been there for a week, but you know, oh, you know, that'll be all right. Like too many. It'll be all right. Too many people. I did last night. Kids for me, thank yeah. you. I've had too many. Oh, go on then. How long's I've been sad? There? Or it's that piece that's fell on the floor. The dog's already had it in his mouth, and your missus has caught it and put it back on the plate without you realizing. Oh God! Yeah, you don't need that. Well, nah, but you know, accidents. Or oh, you need a, a divo- trick. You need a divorce if that's happening. Do you know what yeah. I mean? If your wife's well, she dropping, didn't tell him to go and put it in his mouth, was it? And then popping it back on his plate. In fact, it, <laughs> well, she dropped her chop and yeah. then swapped the plates. Oh, that's more like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's maybe. more like it. Yeah, that's why you should cook your own tea. Yes. <laughs> well, so go on. Um, what have you been doing other than that, Christmassy wise this week? Um, looking into uh, uh, looking into more uh, conspiracy. I was talking to you about this. I did say woman. Christmassy. <laughs> yeah, and it's like I've been looking into conspiracy theories. Okay. Were they Christmas conspiracies? Uh, no, no, not really. No, no, no. And and yeah, I've just been uh, doing that and a bit of work as well. Fucking cold outside, though. Yeah, it standing is, isn't at the door. Yeah. Well, well, we'll, we'll move on anyway, yeah. won't we? Because. Sounded yeah. a bit boring then. Yeah, it, well, yeah, it was to be honest. Do you know what, what you say? Mostly... Like, Christmas, what Christmassy stuff have you been doing? And it's like uh, um, conspiracies. <laughs> Bless you. Well, I'm well, looking into the news all the time, really. That's you know fair. I mean? There's been a lot of news. We there will is. be going into it there a bit is. later on in the show. I was going to bring a bit of news in, but I thought, nah, I can't because that's later on. You know what I mean? Yeah, fair enough. Well, it, it is going to be a budget Christmas for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which means. Yeah, tightening the purse strings. Yeah, maybe little Timmy doesn't get you know everything he wants this year. Yeah, full sock. Yeah, he gets you know, half a sock. You know, it's one of those things. You know, you got to kind of like you know lower your expectations in the yeah. in that sort of way. But like, um, you can't yeah, prepare you for life. <laughs> well, this is the problem you see because it's like if you um fall into that trap of becoming like oh well no we've got to deliver the Christmas that the 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 always expect. Because, I mean, if you've got kids, I can, understand, like, I can understand yeah. the kid doesn't know the difference. They don't understand why, you know, the mum and dad are skint, yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so... Uh, you know they, what, though? And, and no, you know I've what? Got to I'll say. be honest. They bring it on themselves with the whole Santa thing because, you know, the kids think Santa brings the presents. So why would Santa be, um, you know, uh, affected by the economy in the UK or uh, wherever? But I think a lot of kids actually do... Sometimes uh, there are a few, uh, quite a few kids out there who do realise what's going on and like don't want the extra, totally. Yeah, you know I, mean, I mean, I've seen a it's... few stories there where um, kids have turned around and, or you know, um, Give said their to the parents, to "Can you not whoever. buy me a present this year and yeah, maybe yeah. donate the money?" Yeah. So there are a lot of you know socially aware and th- socially thinking children out there who were who were being brought up right. Who were being brought up correctly. I'd yeah. say that is true. Yeah. yeah. Um, whether you know a kid understands whether Santa's a real thing and he's gonna um, these are the guys yeah. delivering the presents yeah. or whether they can't understand why a single mum 
with yeah. three kids or more yeah. or whatever can't or or even one yeah. yeah can't afford and why they've got no presents they start thinking have i been a bad kid this year all the rest oh, of it yeah. so yeah, you know yeah, yeah. it's trying to provide a decent christmas without you know breaking your balls. yeah and i think that's and why the santas who are out there you know in like uh, the malls and stuff like that places like that that the kid can actually sometimes they used to give presents all the time but i think i don't know whether they, they do, do anymore to be honest it's like uh, loads of stuff like that's changed they may, but they probably do get a little gift from santa when they sit on when they go and sit on his knee and stuff but what yeah. i mean is it's like by trying to um provide a good Christmas without making it so you're paying for it till the next one, right? Yeah. By using credit cards, um, yeah. like you know, yeah. spending Putting more than you debt. than you you can afford yeah. to to you know do it when you can do it a lot cheaply, you know, and still have a great time. It's not all about like I say. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure on the uh, adults. Man. This is why I think right in if marketing companies are so clever. Yeah, yeah. In times like this, they should be able to push a, a, a kind of a moderately priced toy, yeah, at the market that's going to appeal to kids that they're going to want that isn't going to break the bank. Do you know what I mean? But it seems that every year when the new toy comes out, it's a few hundred quid yeah. because of demand. And yeah. Yeah, kids yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, again, yeah, yeah, they yeah. just want it. They don't care where yeah, it comes that's from. how marketing plays us. Oh, to totally, yeah. Stuff, and we, you know and we were mean? talking and about this in terms of, like, you know, psyops and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, is it time psyops it, 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 it does kind of fall in hand in hand because it's manipulation of, you know, trying every to make day you buy it's not something. A case, yeah, it's not a case of, every, uh, like, once you're going down shopping, it's everywhere oh, of course. all and the then time. as soon as kind of like halloween's over you're getting yeah. adverts for christmas toys and yeah. stuff like that yeah and i do believe that the laws of when those adverts are allowed to be played have changed and uh, because it creates like a like a demand with the children because they're like oh yeah. mate i've been seeing yeah. this advert pushed at me for months and months and months exactly. and exactly. i want it this all my mates yeah. are getting it you know when it's like well and all it is is a plastic stick. Yeah, but, well, it, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's not it costs you a fortune, to, but it's, it's designed not even like that because the toys that are being pushed at kids these days mm. are more technological, the more um, you know, electronics, basically tablets, um, fucking really high end stuff like your games consoles. Yeah, well, it's, we're having issues with them now with like the chips and the well, transistors this is it, isn't and stuff. It? Cause that's... How long ago did the PlayStation Five come out? And everyone yeah. was like, "That was a Christ- hot Christmas years ago, gift." Didn't it? Yeah, two, three from years. four years ago. Yeah, and like then that. And I haven't seen any. I haven't seen one. Yeah, he was a friend of mine who actually like had to travel to like an other Another side of the country, country yeah, to get him. Yeah. And do you know why that is? I yeah. think there's a few reasons, but I think main one was um, Bitcoin farming, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, and Taiwan's chips as well because they got loaded from Taiwan, but they weren't being able to produce as much because China was well. There's a shortage, sorting out on but the imports. I believe that it's something to do with the um, the graphics processors, and they were able to, you know, they were more powerful, powerful than, than the ones they should who have were getting been. in like a good PC. Yeah, so they were stripping them to put in these. PCs that were basically Bitcoin farms, and that's yeah. why there was a shortage of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone was kind of like, "Why can't we get a PlayStation?" Is because they're being bought up in bulk. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? For this, for these reasons, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but, it's mad, man. It's uh, all these little chips like uh, are going to cost us. Yeah. So I mean, um, like I was saying earlier, though, I mean, by limiting how many people you're buying for, mm. yeah, and I mean, it's it's hard. It's having a cull. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. do we really, will so-and-so be all right if I don't buy him that bottle of Baileys this year? Or, you know, Fucking like, tough. He's, there's a couple of people anything. that might need to get cut off your list. But yeah, yeah. that means you've oh. got an extra bit to put towards your um, your kids or your very close Well, family. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's by by including everybody, you're stretching yourself thinner and thinner. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you need each. to kind of um, reel it in a bit. And that'll give you that extra to, you know, make your personal Christmas a bit bit more in, you know, enriched. Yeah, and a lot and, of and people should understand. I think if everyone's understand. doing that, yeah. then... A lot of people should understand as well about how, how like, you know, not everyone's got as much dollar as everyone else, you know what I mean? So they should be grateful that, you know, that 
at least they'd known him or, you know, get a card. Cards like fuck all, really. Do you think novelty presents are a good idea as well? Because I feel like that's like a waste issue because it's just a gag gift, potentially, and like, you know, no thought, really. I mean, well, it depends on the gift, on the gag, yeah, and the person. Yeah, because it might be personal to him. Sometimes, do you know, when I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's like a one-use sort of gift or something yeah, that's given uh, yeah, in jest waste. that is a bit of a waste. Yeah. Do you think those, rather than buying those types of things and spending more time on a more personal gift is a way better idea? Well, I just suppose it depends who you're buying it for and if it, because you buy it for one person and they go like, oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I didn't really like it, though. And you paid the fucking fortune for it. Or then, like, you know, you get cheap and it's like, wicked, love it. You know what I mean? Best thing since last bread. Fair enough. Well, um, I mean, obviously it's like... Depends on the person and the individual, doesn't it, really? I think so, If you know them, if you know them, then you roughly know what to get them. I'd say so. But then again, sometimes uh, that's the opposite. If you don't, you just buy them shower gel, a bit of (laughs) aftershave, you know, a bit of smelly. There you go. That bottle of Bailey's. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's like I say, it is more for the kids. Yeah. Making it magical can be really cheap if you use your imagination as well. Yeah, yeah, cheap, man. Do you know, like... Uh, I think, like, do you know the the idea of, like, the whole Santa Claus thing? Mm. If you can kind of, like, dress your house to make it, like, you know, a bit like he's been there. And the uh, the, the equivalent was, like, you know, you'd leave your mince pies and then you wake well, up bite. and find a yeah. bite out of it, yeah. right? But people go to extremes now. I mean, there's literally footprints you can get, you can find... Like, I just you know, thought... Of go on. Yeah, I just... Literally, when you were talking about I just thought of, yeah... The kids come, they wake up in the morning, come running down, and you see Santa dead with his head chopped off in there. <laughs> and he's like, like, oh, shit. Oh, why Why would his head be chopped off? I don't know. There's some sick people out there, you know what I mean? Just for a joke, you know what I mean? It was just like, they loved the scary movies. Walk yeah. downstairs and you see Santa down there with reindeer on his head or something. Terrible. Hey, it's just my, my head. I don't know. It just pops into my head then. Like, what the fuck? I think like we need to get you to a, a, a psych ward yeah, or something. Yeah. It's like, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like the ink blot test of what you see in here, murder. I've been chatting with Yay lately, you know Santa what I mean? Claus, so, you know. Murder. <laughs> You've been talking to Yay. 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 You're fucking with me, Ed. Whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, in terms of like heating and stuff, yeah. right? There's a lot of kind of, um, you know, stress about that. Yeah. Now, I've been looking on the net to find a few alternatives for oh, heating yeah. your house, yeah. right? And I've been recommended these um, electric blankets, and I always kind of have a bit of a kind of a fear of those from the 80s, you know, like... Combusting. Sp- combusting yeah. or being faulty or whatever. Yeah. It's a bit you, kind of weird to have, like, an electrical heated thing draped over you. Yeah, but you get I mean, in coats and shit now. Burns and stuff like that. You, you can yeah. totally get heated coats. You, I want one. They look amazing, to be fair, Right. So I, I think the, same the technology's thing the got a lot better, right? And they're supposedly really good. I mean, in terms yeah. of, like, you know, getting cud- comfy on the couch and watching a film, certainly, like, that'd be enough nice. to keep you Toasty, warm, yeah. I think. Uh, but I, I've also found um, these units. They're basically like a gas fire. Yeah. But they take a color gas bottle. Oh, right, yeah. Right, now, yeah, yeah. pricing it up, right, yeah. you can buy a unit for between 100 to 150 quid, right, right or pounds, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's basically like a gas fire, and yeah. you buy a Cali gas bottle, it's like £37 pound a, 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 for a bottle, Okay. and that'll last, the guy who I was speaking to said it would last for over a month, continuous use, yeah. So if you think about okay. how much you've got to moderate your gas at the moment, do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, Knowing yeah. that 30, 30 well. 40 quid every couple of weeks, you know, every month or so, and that's going to, you know, work for you. And that might yeah, be cheaper, it might be, worth might be it, cheaper yeah. than what you're paying at, through the gas companies, is what I'm saying. And they deliver the gas bottles. Right. So I suppose in, I suppose in one room or a big one big room, I would say, yeah, but for a household, you need... Every- <laughs> yeah, but most people are doing this now where they say they're kind of just heating one room. I because, am, I'm doing my room and because that's Because they can't afford to heat the whole house. Yeah. And, you know, they're not using the other room, so what's the point in heating the house if you're not even using literally 90% of it? But then in another way, it, 
it actually if you helps turn in the long your run. central heating off and just have this wheel this fire in that's you know it's got its own supply of gas now obviously you know again safety issues the heat up you yeah. know you know the don't have it with your pets or children about but uh-huh. if you've got a fire guard or something but that seems a logical idea for me do you know what i mean it's like it's a cheaper alternative which you can have a bit more control over yeah but then i f- i think this might be a little bit of a kick in the ass for some people that you know electric comes from somewhere we have to make that kind of shit it costs to okay, make that okay so shit where's the electric where do you need the electric you get from the company, don't you? And you have to pay them cunts to get it. Oh, totally. But what's that? Well, there's a lot. There's a lot of people. Yeah, but there's a lot of people. Yeah, but there's a lot of people out there uh, uh, waste, waste it, and not realizing how much the waste. Like I've been in the landing there. I've gone past. I could turn it off, but I don't because I'm going to come back in like ten minutes time. Oh right, fair you know enough. what I mean. I so you. that's wasted. The 10 minutes there of energy. But I always think that about people who, like, drive to the end of the road to the shops. It's like, you know what I mean? I've known it's a few like, people like that. You probably do it. No, yeah. no, I've it's never like, done that. It's like, rather than walk no. it and save your petrol, you'll drive 100 yards I don't even go to my local shop. I go I go further away. Just to make sure that you're getting using that petrol. No, because I like the shop, and the shopkeeper's uh, all right. I've known him for a long year, a lot of years, so it's like, you know, get good service. I stay as a, uh, uh, you a know, loyal, a loyal, a loyal customer. customer. Yeah, yeah. All right, then. Give me what Fair I enough. need. Well, um, moving on with the Christmassy themed episode. Um, a yeah. lot of Christmas movies coming out this year. See, I've only seen like one. All two. jockeying, yeah, for a Christmas classic position. I feel like, um, you know, what what what's your favourite Christmas movie? <sighs> Jesus. I I, could, I don't even think I could pick one because you could say like Star Wars. You could say like no, uh, that Christmas. I mean, Christmas Star Wars wouldn't spin- be a Christmas. Yeah, movie. but it always used to be the Christmas film. It was on at Christmas. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like that's what that's the difference. You see, like because somebody um, was saying like Back to the Future was like an Easter film. It was always on at Easter. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah, agree. Yeah, yeah. But it's like. It doesn't ever go into anything Eastery or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, not by today's logic, if it's set at Christmas, yeah. it's a Christmas it's a movie. Film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Die Instead Hard. Of, yeah, um, yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. If it's got a Christmas well, tree in Christmas. one scene, yeah, these are these, it's a Christmas movie. So yeah. you know, um, just a Die Hard. Damn it! Damn <laughs> shit! I'm not cool. Damn, I forgot about that one. Terminator. No, oh, Terminator is not. A I was actually movie. thinking in Down the Jones, the second film. I was thinking of. Is that set at Christmas? Yeah, I used to watch that at Christmas time as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, a uh, uh, Christmas film. Uh, I don't know. You know it, what I mean? Well, I don't got, really. I don't really watch Christmas films no more. Well, you've got like It's a Wonderful Life, which is a classic. Scrooged. With uh, Bill yeah, Murray, yeah, actually, that which is, is a good film. Yeah, there's so many different takes on the whole yeah. um, Christmas Carol. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 but I do like thing. that one. Jingle All the Way, Bad Santa, Gremlins, Bad Santa was all good, yeah. Christmas movies. Um, God, Home know. Alone, Home Alone Two, Lost no, in New York. Oh, I'm sick of seeing them bloody films. Uh, have you ever seen The Night Before Christmas? Oh, no, it's just called The Night Before. It stars um, Anthony Mackie, um, Seth Rogen, and the kid out of Third Rock from the Sun. I always forget his name. What's he called? No idea. I'll tell you in a second. It is... Um, oh, what's he called? <sighs> what's the film about? It's basically about these um, three Don't friends know. who basically go... They have a tradition of... Uh, just um, Jordan Levitt, or Jonathan Levitt, or whatever oh, he's right. called. Yeah, yeah. Um, him. So these like they have this tradition of spending Christmas together, three different cultures, like you know ways of diff- one of them's Jewish, one of okay. them's Christian. That sounds you know, interesting. And they all go out together and spend Christmas together. They have this big tradition, and right. they want to go to this party called the Nutcracker Ball, but they can. It's so exclusive that they can never get in or they never find it. But okay. they were like, this year's going to be the year. We're gonna get it, so they're and on it's a, hunt a ri- for a party, kind of. But it's, um, there's a lot going on in the film. It's a, it's funny. I'd recommend it. That came out like 2015. Um, Did it? Right. I wouldn't say it was a Christmas classic, but you know, it's, it's Christmas themed. A lot of good Christmas movies out there. Um, 
Yeah. Well, this Santa is a, and this year's the Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah, that is actually um, one that I was going to discuss because Christmas uh, themed stuff that's come out this year. Yeah. Um, this is about sixteen buzzworthy uh, Christmas movies for twenty twenty two. What? Um, yeah. I so, didn't know there were that many. Um, Falling for Christmas. Oh. Then you've got Christmas Camp or Santa Camp. Okay. Um, the Noel Diary. And no- then right. you've got um, Christmas with You. Oh. You've got Scrooge, which yeah, is a Christmas like Carol. Scrooge. Well, well, a new couple, one for a this new year. one. There's a couple. So basically, you got Spirited, right? Which is another Christmas Carol in sort a musical. Of thing. That? A musical, it looks yeah. Like a starring musical. No, um, that, Will Ferrell and um, Deadpool. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brian Reynolds. Brian, that's um, the so then you've got Violent Night, which stars the um, the guy from Stranger Things. Do you know the one who played the Russian in Black Widow? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. he's in that playing Santa. Okay. And um, obviously bit, gets a into a bit of a, a, a predicament and has to kick some ass. Oh, right. That so looks like a bit of a kind of... Uh, bit of an action pack. Action for flick, yeah. <laughs> then you've got um, the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Seen it. Yeah, what did you th- what did you think of it? There's a surprise in it. Oh, I've seen it. You've seen it? I've seen it twice. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, Do you worry. reckon I should say... I think most people have seen it by now. Um, I mean, yeah. I feel like it's been out a couple of weeks now, so we're not going to say we're going to spoil anything by discussing it. Um, I felt like it was... I knew something like that was coming. It was a good homage to the, homage to the um, Star Wars holiday special from the 70s. If you've not seen it, no. it's very niche, and it's pretty kind okay. of hardcore fans who were like, you know, um, got into it. Like, the Star Wars holiday special was notoriously bad. Yeah. Okay. And they go to um, the home world of the Wookiees to right. visit Chewbacca's family to celebrate Life Day, which right. was their equivalent of Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Um, they was, in fact, it was one of the first, if the, not the first time, um, Boba Fett was actually introduced on the holiday special. Oh, right. Um, okay. In an animated bit. Yeah. Right. Uh, which was the same sort of style of animation as that bit at the beginning of the Guardians of the Galaxy with Yondu and oh, the Christmas right. yeah, tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you can see yeah. where they've kind of taken elements from it. Um, yeah. They had in the in the special, the Star Wars special, there was a, um, a a couple of bands that came and played and performed for Luke and the rest <laughs> of them, <laughs> and it was like not like even the Cantina band, like pop bands that of the day. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, yeah. oh, it's like, oh my God, Duran Duran are here, like, sort of thing. Like, oh, you know, it, it wasn't Duran Duran, I don't think. It was but, Boy you know, George. For that, <laughs> could probably have been Boy George, yeah. right? But it was almost like by having, because that was a real band as well in right. the makeup, yeah. doing the songs yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy one. And, yeah, and Kevin yeah. Bacon is in a band himself called the brothers bacon he's in a band with his brother that's true yes. so um you know there's uh quite a lot going on in that film and <laughs> but it is a good homage to this christmas special um the, with the star wars holiday special yeah, yeah and it but a lot better yeah whereas a lot of people kind of cringe when you talk about the star wars holiday special the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special is quite nice it's in all a right. lot of ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously it goes on about how, um, you know, Peter, how he was kind of taken from Earth. And yeah. then Yondu kind of ruined Christmas for him. But really he didn't, did he? Because obviously he kind of um, kept it on the well, down low and he it, yeah. shared shared that sort of secret with Peter, yeah. who obviously was buying him gifts and little trinkets to put on his... Uh, True. Cockpit. Yeah. You know oh, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll notice in the holiday special that the first one he gets is the first one. The blue so, one. No, the little green, little green thing. It's a little green. And he gets given it, and it's the first thing he sticks on his dashboard. So he must have carried on that tradition for years after. Yeah. So yeah, yeah he didn't yeah. ruin Christmas for him at all. No. So what was no, the bit that you were wanting to talk about? The little surprise. Um, he was related to. Oh yeah, well it's nice. I think every, I feel like most people got that from the yeah. second Guardians of the Galaxy. Movie. Well, it was never it the was question never, never come said, up. Yeah. yeah, it was never said, yeah. and it was almost like we knew, 
Yeah. yeah, but we were just waiting for that discovery with the characters. Yeah, I felt like Mantis knew because she was an empath. Yeah, so she would have felt that from ego when yeah. when she was living on him. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, she yeah. said, a, um, a dog doesn't allow fleas to live on its back no. unless it serve a purpose. So basically, yeah. she helped him to fall asleep and stuff, which gives her sort of access. To his to dreams, his, his and, dreams his and his brain, and, brain. and yeah, like yeah. his his thoughts. So, at some point, but surely being so she must have powerful. twigged from him that he was uh, she was his his daughter. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was just he, she was worth keeping him around rather than destroying like all the others. She was useful. Useful, exactly. Yeah. So, um, out of all those Christmas movies. I'd say the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas holiday special. Yeah, even though it's a short one, was my was. pick of that. And then yeah. yeah, it was an hour and twenty minutes, at least. So was it, it wasn't exactly a short, short one. Oh, I've watched the short version. Why? How long was yours? It was what? It was about what? Uh, less than half an hour. Let me check for you. It was. It was less than half an hour. You know what I mean? It was like because it went pretty fast. Because I. Maybe oh. you were enjoying it too much. Nah, because nah, it was in one area quite more than, you know, travelling to anywhere else. What, when they were, um, like, trying to track down Kevin? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they were going where the band was, and they kept coming back to that place. Nowhere? Yeah. Well, yeah, a lot know. of things happened in that place, and uh, it, not even a lot of things. There wasn't a lot of things that happened, so it was what something about twenty-four minutes or some shit like that. I think it was. No, it was longer than twenty-four minutes. Definitely, I feel like you've been you've you've been had off there. You've been ripped no. off. No, sorry, the other uh, what uh, last week I think it was or the week. Oh, well, I'm gonna rip you, rip, rip you now because like Why? I'm gonna get you that forty minutes. Told you so. Yeah. It wasn't half We're an hour, hour and a half, though. Well, well, you know what I mean? 40 was, minutes is longer yeah. than what you just said. What, 20 30 minutes. minutes? 20 minutes. Yeah, but 30 minutes, and then I said about 24 minutes. Well, close to an hour, I'd say. Anyway, no. moving on. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was. I'd say it was definitely the better um, Christmas movie, but yeah. a little su- there is a, was a little surprise one there, um, which is a series Disney Plus put out, The Santa Claus. So you would mention mm. that earlier about you know the Tim Allen movie. Yeah, yeah. So they've um, renewed it and brought it out as a series, but it's um, the same cast. Um, Tim Allen's still in it, and he's losing his Santa powers. Yeah, and, that's right. Um, he's got to bring back the spirit of Christmas, so yeah. uh, he can carry on being Santa. So if you like that, I think the kids will enjoy that one. So if you're looking yeah. for something to watch with the kids this Christmas, that and do you know what? It's still got that sort of adult element of comedy in there that you will enjoy it as well. You can sit yeah, down yeah, and watch yeah, yeah. it without Good getting kids, too bored. But the, do you yeah, know what I mean? The adults won't get bored. Because you know it. what adults are like? They'd fidget her. They get bored easier. So yeah, you need double entendre and stuff like uh, yeah, that. Yeah, you need a not. bit of double entendre yeah, yeah, and a bit do. of fucking, like, carry on. Yeah, a little secret between the adults. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah, you need a bit of that going on over Christmas, don't you? Yeah. Um, it, that's what I enjoyed about Christmas, all the Christmas specials. So you used mm-hmm. to get an Only Fools and Horses Christmas special yeah. most years growing up. Yeah. Um, then we got a few Gavin and Stacey Christmas specials. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be one of those this year. I'll we'll Google that in a minute. But, um, well, yeah, yeah. Cause like, I'm Doctor Who used to get a Doctor Who Christmas special. I was hoping we'd get one this yeah, year. but keep, keep it in the missing, don't we? Are we getting it in New Year? Could we have it we in will the New be Year get, We will be getting a new um Yeah, but in it's something Who. like next September or some shit like that. And it's like, you've just been off for like... You've done what? They've done two programs, uh, two uh, long episodes um, over the last like year, if not a little longer. And now they're going to have another like two, uh, uh, nearly a year off again to uh, get the new casting and that. And it's yeah. like, no wonder it's like dropping in um, uh, votes and stuff, uh, uh, people watching it, because it's. It's hardly on now. Yeah, you know well, I, mean? like, I, I think, like, I kind of thought, oh, well, is going to be one, and I checked, and, like, again, it's like they were saying, oh, unfortunately, there will be a Christmas special, but it'll be a repeat. You know what yeah. they're blaming it on, so, won't you? Um, there is that. Um, obviously, the Gavin and Stacey thing, we, I said last year, it wouldn't have minded another one that yeah. last year, but 
Um, it's been a few years since Gavin and Stacey's been like on on the screens. Yeah. Um, and people want to see what's going on. They want to catch up. They left it on a bit of a cliffhanger with oh, um, yeah. with Smithy and um, and Nessa. Want we'll to yeah, see yeah. what happens there. Um, we all know what's going to happen there. That was 2019. The special um, saw Shit. 17 million people tune in. So yeah, you could... for that. And um, but we reckon it's probably going to be a few more years before we see a new a That's new one. If we do see a new, we might never see a new one. You leave it to interpretation, I suppose. Whatever you want to well, do, yeah. do, you know what I mean? Well, anyway, we we're, we're running out of time here, so we're going to have to move on. Ooh. So um, other Christmassy stuff. Yeah that we've been doing we've been looking for um so we've done the binge worthy movies yeah um quite a lot for this year <coughs> 16 and a bloody getting binge. a bit of a cough I do apologize um the cost of living is um getting kind of Stupid. high um yeah. so you know what do you do yeah when you gotta feed the whole family at christmas roadkill fuck it <laughs> you go break the bank buy the biggest turkey you've ever seen yeah and you eat all that but even well, turkeys sure are getting so you make expensive. A, a turkey sure. curry. Well, there are turkey alternatives. That's where I was yeah. going with this all along. Ah, like, ah, you see? see. Turkey alternatives you see. can get, like, you know, um, turkey roll, see. which is turkey. It's just turkey breast, but it's like, you know, presented Rolled a bit up. nicer, looks nicer. Obviously, same thing, just a bit cheaper. Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah, yeah. the cost of cooking a turkey. Have you yeah. thought about that? Shh. When you got to have the gas oven on all day. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Per pound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, you're starting to get into it. But, obviously, it's like there are kind of uh, cheaper alternatives. Steak. Me and my bro do steak. Some we people do that, you know. Yeah. Actually, we're changing it this year, actually. We're actually having... Lasagna. No, um, wraps. Tacos. We're having wraps. Tacos. You yeah. should have tacos. Christmas tacos. Do you know what the most popular um, Christmas dinner is in Japan? Oh, uh, fish? Nope. Egg. No. Uh, You're close. Uh, oh, With egg. Oh, oh. Chicken. Chicken. Guess where from? Us? KFC. Ah, KFC. KFC <laughs> is yeah, uh, yeah. Japan's biggest Christmas dinner. See? Love it. They love it over See? there. Oh, that might have been fault. a question you get asked this year at quiz, uh, Christmas quiz. Yeah. And now uh, yeah. you know, you know, Japan. Yeah. I love yeah. their KFC no, for now. Christmas dinners. I do. Get so. a geisha. <laughs> it's got a what? Let's get a geisha. Is it I a geisha? I thought you said buy it. Let's get a gay shop. <laughs> oh, geisha. It's like, what are we going to sell? <laughs> Don't we know. sell trinkets Plastic and knickknacks and things. <laughs> Anything you could hard desire. Anyway, right. So, yeah. Um, <coughs> I'll keep going a cough. I do apologise. So, Taylor might have to um, carry, talk, carry on talking if I do have a, have fit. a, a fit. Yeah. But... Someone who best not have a fit and best keep his speaking voice, speaking pipes clean and crystal clear. Oh, who's this? Well, King King Charles. Oh, yes. <coughs> it's going to be a... Because uh, one thing about Christmas is that we, I always look forward to the queen, turning over yeah. and going out of the house when yeah. it's on is the Queen's speech. The Majesty's speech. And this year yeah. we won't be having a Queen's speech, which oh, I sadly. assume we'll have a... Um, yeah, a I think tribute yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of some description yeah. to the Queen and her Queen's speeches throughout the years. But yeah, I it, should imagine, it, I should imagine that it. it's going to be King Charles's first Queen King's speech. Well, it will be. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, well, yeah, that well, it will be. But I mean, it's like, is this something? Is it a tradition that he's going to be carrying on? Yeah, he's got like to carry on. A, yeah, um, he's, and he's I'm be interested to hear what he's got to say. To be honest, and crown, like man. I say, you know, a lot of the times I, I catch the highlights of the Queen's speech. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah, but I'd be interested to hear what he's got to say about, um, you know, this year. I hope something worthwhile. Well, you know what I mean? it's always it's... royalty talking royal, isn't well, it? Well, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I mean, have, has anybody been watching the, the documentary of nope. Meghan and... Nope. Um, being a pair of tits, both of them being a pair of tits and just doing it for the money. It, well, apparently it came out originally because, like, there was um, a bit of a controversial of... Um, about when they released it and something was going on, I think a racial row in the the family family about asking them somebody where they were originally from. I mean, I felt like... Oh, yeah, yeah, she's had an apology, don't she? She went back to the palace, she was uh, at an invite 
the lady that said it to her I uh, apologised. I don't understand and she how that apology. is. Um, I, sometimes I've asked that question, and I don't mean it in an offensive way. I'm asking, like, what are your origins? I mean, are you British? Or, do, what, you know, where yeah. do you come from geographically and historically? I mean, is that, a, is that a, a now a, That's a, how we a taboo have been thing to do? Are we, not allowed, is. are we not allowed to ask where people are, are originate from? No, you're not allowed that? to ask nothing nowadays, you know. Crazy. Yeah. You um, say it? Well, <laughs> yeah, you know what? Uh, there's uh, some new criminal acts coming in that uh, is going to put us all on a back foot as well. Oh, wow, uh, you mean? Because uh, they're looking at bringing, which I sort of agree, but only to a certain degree, of like, you know, wolf whistling and stuff like that, that it would be uh, thrown well, under Well, I think that's pretty kind. I feel like it's quite, um, um, you know, wrist. obscene and, um, you yeah. know, it's, it's obscene and it's kind of um, demeaning and degrading and not only to them but to yourself as well to be honest it's like you know by doing wolf whistles and cat calling and all the rest of it it's like you just come across as sleazer yeah if that ever but got a man if that ever that. got a man a date yeah i'd be very surprised yeah and it, uh, go on uh, it's hard to get a date these days it's anyway, hard to get a date with, just by uh, being a nice guy these yeah. days never mind it don't uh, work, man talking be a fucking bastard. like being a knobhead yeah. maybe it does work because yeah. I actually do see that people yeah. who are dickheads manage to you know secure a, a wife and whatnot. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah and they love it but you know yeah. you're a nice guy then you you, you fault too soft yeah yeah, um, yeah. Did, have I mentioned this actually you know what yesterday was don't you what um, Black Eye Friday yeah did I mention this already in the show because no. I feel it's, it's a crazy crazy um, yeah. idea Mad Friday, Black Eye Friday, Frantic Friday, it's also known as. It's the, it's the last Friday before Christmas Eve, yeah. which is usually a busy pub and club night because it's staff parties, yeah, people yeah. out celebrating Christmas, you know yeah. what I mean? And uh, But to get the name Black Eye Friday, <coughs> I mean, it suggests that there's a lot of... Um, well, hold on, can we say that now? What? Black Eyed Friday. Well, I mean, we, we can't, be well, what about Black Friday, the actual, yeah. you know, I mean, Black Friday, the shopping day. I mean, yeah. this isn't the shopping day we're talking about. No, this is um, another day. This is, you know, f- you know, but it's got a lot of uh, uh, different names. Yeah. And the idea it's Black Eye Friday is a black eye. You know what I mean? It's a bruised black yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's getting it's it. Not, you can't, I honestly cannot say that is racist. If I give you a black eye, am I supposed to go, no, it's a slightly bruised eye? From yeah. now on, yeah, 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 yeah exactly. I yeah. bruised your eyes. I got a blue and no, black eye. I can't. I, well, I got a cut in the arrest cut report. Eye. There, it's like, well, what happened? He's like, he gave me no. It's a bluey black eye. What about broken arm? I got a broken arm. That's broken not, arm that's definitely not racist. Yeah, my leg, my leg. Anyway, I got a broken. Um, but yeah, the term um, has been used as jargon from the NHS and the police. Um, oh, so right. you know they ah, so they coined they the coined actual yeah, um, yeah. The name, and it goes but, back as far as like 2013, and um, when the pre- press started to pick up on the Mad Friday. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's nothing yeah. like the American Black Friday, except people kick the shit out of each other, but don't get any products what? at the end of it. Uh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean like a block of cheese? Well, in, in, <laughs> in America on Black Friday, they yeah. all kind of kick fuck out of each other in a What's Walmart it? and then get oh, like a, yeah. get discounts. Yeah, right. Winner gets a, a cheaper yeah. toaster. If he's not broke by the time you've got Black it to Friday the Black Friday is just like a load of people kicking fuck out of each other and not even yeah. getting a toaster. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, totally, yeah. I've got oh, a shopping well. trolley. I'm going to ram you all it's back up. Good. Got knives on each side. So, yeah, um, yeah. well, I'm, I've got a few more Christmas facts, but I think we can sprinkle those in throughout. Um, yeah. Like? Like? Did you know Paul McCartney? No, I don't. Actually, friend of no. the... Well, he's not called Paul, is he? James Paul McCartney. You mean yeah. that fakey? That uh, fake fall, fella? F- fall uh, McCartney. Yeah. 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 Um, earns $40,000 or $400,000 a year. All right. Off um, Wonderful Christmas Time. In and that's just one song. That's Imagine just all these other songs. I think songs. he's got a couple of other Christmas songs as well, hasn't he? Yeah. Cliff Richards got a few. He's got, yeah, fucking hell. He's, he's, 
well, I think talking, he's always talking been about in Christmas, Christmas, Jesus. Christmas music. Bing Crosby, uh, Chris, Bing Crosby's version of White Christmas, yeah, brilliant is the version. highest yeah. selling single of all time. I'm not surprised. Yeah, but I, when I answered that in a quiz recently, yeah, yeah, I got told it wasn't and got told it's wham. You got knocked. Ah, you got, got whammed. Knocked, mate. I got you, whammed. You got wham banned. Yeah. So um, who agrees? I don't know. Is it Wham or is it Bing it's Crosby? White Christmas, it's, it's White Christmas. It's White Christmas, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, That's yeah. why yeah, I, I put it years. down. I wouldn't have put it down. I would have put Wham if it was Wham, but it wasn't. I put White Christmas because it's White Christmas. Wham would be disco or something like Talking that. Talking about that White one. Christmases. Yeah. Yeah. How many White Christmases do you think there have been here in the UK? 35. In in how many years? In a hundred in the last hundred years? The last hundred years, yeah, thirty five. Well, it's probably less actually now. Yeah, th- about say thirty five. Wow. So I reckon in the nineteen hundreds it was. Well, it'd be nineteen twenty two, won't it? Uh, really? So between that time, no, I'd say less than. I'd say eight. 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 I'm gonna say it was six. Six. Yep, and and you'll never guess, right? So it's ninety from the nineteen hundreds onwards. Yeah, you got nineteen oh six was a white Christmas. Yeah, that was a cold year. Nineteen seventeen. Right, right, okay. Nineteen twenty three. Right. Nineteen thirty eight. Yeah. Nineteen fifty six. Oh, that's a bit of a a gap, that isn't it? And then nineteen seventy. See, and then. From nineteen seventy, there was to there was a little bit of snow drifting in in nineteen ninety five. We must have had, but it wasn't a proper white Christmas. We must have had since nineteen seventy. Well, there, how many times has it been a white Christmas? And it's been um, a true white Christmas all over the UK, only four oh. times. Yeah, but uh, it's got it's got to be more because I remember a few. White oh well, Christmases. if Taylor at remembers. Least. Two. The research, and I'm not that fucking old. Well, all oh, the research doesn't count. Well, you must doesn't. have been older than the 1800s then. You must have gone, when was you born? 18, 1882. 1809. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Yeah, yeah so. Um, yeah, yeah we're Four <laughs> times since 1960. But yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, so there's been a couple more. So the, I'd say yeah. there's been a few more. So there was one in 1981. Right, yeah, I'd remember that. Yeah, roughly. Um, 1995, like I said, he was. Okay. But these aren't fully white Christmases. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But in certain areas. Then 2009 and 2010. So yeah, a few so, more. Yeah, there has yeah. been a few more. There you then. go. Yeah, that's what you do. Right, bit yeah. of actual kind of research and don't yeah. just go off your first one. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. losing my voice anyway. <laughs> so, um, right. Well, I feel like we're going to be going into the news in a few seconds. So. Yeah. We're news. We'll get there right now. Which news? Yeah, it's Christmas. Well, you know, you know. Before we go into the news, um, got a few more facts for you. Yeah. Right. Um. So, what was the tiggest, yeah, tiggest old bit of Christmas tree ever displayed in? Um, where was that? Was it in America? It was America. You know what? When I I think you're gonna say somewhere, and it's not gonna be the, that place. But go on. Um, th- that big. Uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Times Square. Yeah, like yeah. like that. Uh, yeah. Somewhere like that. Yeah. yeah, I I thought Times Square originally, but no, it was Seattle, Washington, and it measured oh, right. uh, 221 feet tall. Right. Dead one, tig old tree. That's a big ass squirrel that lived. I in bet that, that took a tree. lot of decorating. Yeah, but two seconds to knock it down seriously i mean this is the thing about christmas isn't it it's like when you do your decoration and put everything up it looks great yeah. but then there's that like takedown period and everything looks well really days. bare and yeah. like really kind of like um empty in the house because you had this sort of big showpiece you've just said the 12 days there yeah, yeah. but i know for a fact these people who've had their christmas decorations up since like literally the beginning of november Oh yeah, no. But I, is there actually a date when you can start putting them up? There's it's a the date. twelve days. It's twelve, 12 days, days before, put... twelve days after. Right. Okay. That's I, what I thought always it was thought. twelve days after. And my mum used to say, "No, nope, we're not putting them up." Twelve days before. That's when we put them up. And oh. like, I always kind of thought that was when you did it. But it's progressively getting like closer Changing. and closer to Halloween. Well, 
Oh, no, yeah, it's America. Gonna be, it's going to be Halloween America, fucking Christmas America, they've got Thanksgiving soon. in the middle. So, I mean, we've not got that thing to look forward to at the end of November. So that's why I think we kind of rush to the Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. they go Halloween, Thanksgiving, yeah. and then Christmas, and then New Year. Yeah, so yeah, they've yeah. got like a whole string of celebrating going on. Yeah, whereas Lucky we've got, got Halloween, and man. then it's like... Come on, Christmas, come on, Christmas, yeah, come on, Christmas, yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas. And it's like, well, there's nothing like, we don't give thanks for anything. But we do have no. Boxing Day, which you have now adopted. So yeah. well done, you. Yeah, well done, you, um, Or yes. any other country that hasn't got it. Well, we're talking it, about 12 days of Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. On the 12 days of Christmas, there's a lot of gifts. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. What did he give him? Uh, a pack of peas. pack of peanuts. Peanuts, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Frosting two, on some... two golden cans of lager. Three speckled hens. Well, I know. Uh, is it three? Uh, it's turtle doves. Five I, I gold wrong, rings. That's the only one I know. That's the only Ach- one you actually, everybody knows because it's the best bit, right? But do you know if you were to buy all those um, gifts? Yeah. Like, you know, 12 of this and 10 of that. Yeah, what, it'd be about 12 grand. Be a fair bit of money, but yeah. do you know what the most expensive um, item on the list would be? Rings. Swans are swimming. Swan, you've got a pack. Well, how many do they need? How many is it? Um, how many of the swans are swimming? I don't know. What, seven? Well, however many you need, you, it's going to cost you about seven grand. Why? Just, just for the swans. Park, man. Just for just the swans. Swim. That's what I'd do. I'd yeah. go. Come to the park, seven swans are or swimming. The, oh, I was going to say ask the queen, but ask the king if you can borrow a couple and put them in the swim baths. Good idea. There you yeah. go. Have king, a party of it. Excuse me, king. Uh, I know you're a busy man, but yeah. uh, can I borrow a couple of swans? Yeah, just a couple. Just, just a few. I won't uh, eat I'll any of them, six. I promise. I know they belong to you, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah swans, some in, swans in the trying, UK right? actually belong to the king. Yeah. No he used to belong to him. the queen. Yeah. It depends on his philosophy on swans. He might not like swans. He might now go, all oh, the geese. Well, he is a naturist, all isn't he? Well, well, not a naturist, but he is into He's a nudist. Nature. Yeah, he's a nudist. He, he walks around he's Buckingham not a Palace bollock no. naked. Oh, oh, that'd be a sight. Fucking hell. He's wrinkly old, go, old gold. I've just had my tea, man. I'm going to throw it oh, He's kingly no. nuts resting oh. on the throne. Hearing chingle, chingle, chingle every oh, time he walks. Right. Oh, I'm oh. the king, you know. Oh, no. Oh. He's going to watch this Netflix documentary oh. about my son. Oh. Anyway. I'll sit on the chair um, with long ass bollocks. Candy canes, big Christmassy thing. Candy that. canes? Candy canes. Yeah, what? Well, there's not really a big thing. I don't think it's really a big thing. Apart from, it. yeah, dentists love him. Break your teeth. Uh, well, candy yeah. canes are big. Candy canes, like, you not know, people England, like a candy like. cane. The, the big, they started in Germany. All oh, right, right, okay. The candy cane. Um, it was made into a J to symbolise Jeebus. Um, Jeebus? Yeah, and the red stripes, oh, get this, the red stripes are symbolises blood oh, well, trickling down the, the, the fucking... What's the white stripes for then? I don't know. What? The white stripes? Yeah. They're a band from, um, you know, Jack White and Meg White. They're great, yeah. Yeah, they are. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, Seven Nation Army. Well. Awesome. Um, Jingle Bells was an originally a song about Thanksgiving in 1857. But ah. you didn't know that. Yeah. So there you go. Um, Christmas came from the word Christmas, meaning mass of Christ. Okay. But nobody really does that. I mean, I feel like Christmas nowadays, and I'll leave you this before we go into the news, yeah? This is this is Gaz's final thought on Christmas. Oh, right? listen up now. The whole Christmas thing nowadays is feel like it's multi-denominational. I feel like if you want to celebrate Christmas, you can totally celebrate it. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have to be, you know, like a Christian holiday because if you strict, if you literally take away one element from the whole Christmas holiday, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing changes with Santa. Nothing changes with Rudolph. Nothing changes with your Christmas tree. Nothing changes at all. No man comes around and sneaks around. The only thing is that we kind of associate Christmas with Christianity is the baby Jesus was supposedly born on that day oh. and he fucking wasn't. He oh, was born no. in June or something yeah. stupid. I thought it was yeah. September. Well, whenever, yeah. exactly, nobody knows. No. Yeah. Nobody knows. Right, yeah. knows. Right, yeah. so they just do this, right? So well, it's You would like, have thought they'd keep that date. It's, when you're it's like, great, no. the nativity and all that, and if you're a Christian and, you know, that's important to you. Yeah. But the whole Santa... 
the celebration, giving gifts, having, you know, like the meaning of Christmas. It yeah. does I, I was talking to somebody the other day but who some tunes will look was out. not um, you know, Christian. Yeah. And they were saying, but their kids love Santa, they love that whole thing and they've adopted that into their traditions. So A lot of know, Christmas songs will go though. Well, these are, you I love I mean? the favourite Christmas song of all time, the Pogues. And, you know, there's been adaptions of it and people changing the words. Don't mind um, but the original's the best. It's a classic. And if you don't agree it, yeah, with the, the lyrics, then I'm sorry, but it'll never change. And people will always scream out the original lyrics during yeah. a sing-along yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. to cover the, the, the mask, the, the fake lyrics up. So, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. He's a scumbag, you maggot. Yeah. You cheap, lousy faggot. Aye. Merry Christmas, your ass. I thank God it's our last. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, my my favourite in uh, Christmas song is um, Bono in um, It's Christmas Fucking Time. Bono? There's no need to oh, be afraid. Fuck uh, well, to, no. it's the line, isn't Can't it? Be. Tonight, thank God it's them instead of you. Oh, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Well, yeah, in Bono, yeah. yeah, yeah you're yeah, a nice yeah. bloke, are you? Yeah, yeah. Give us do some a, money. Do enough charity. I've got enough money. I, I just go around like, the world and sing some I remember songs. watching a documentary about it, actually, and he was like, what? Um, that's a bit harsh. Do you know what I mean? I've got to sing this lyric. Yeah. Like, uh, tonight, thank God it's So he them. didn't agree with it, but he I sang it anyway. I don't think he agreed with it, but, like, I think it, they, they went, do you know what, Bono? How if much any, did he get? If anyone can pull it off. It's you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, go on. Yeah, go everyone egging him yeah, on. Yeah, egging him on. Yeah, yeah they were like, yeah. come on, Bono. If yeah. You're the man for the job. Yeah, we wrote this. in sliced bread. We, no one else could say no it by you. No one else could say it but you. Yeah. Nice one, Bono. I'll sing it, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, well, I'm just glad he's getting a bit more quieter at the Well, I've got one more little fact for you. Yeah. Um, before. I know I said that was my final thought, and it is. Did but yeah, lie. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer oh, yeah. uh, got his start as an advertising gimmick. Yeah, uh, yeah, for so Montgomery he, Ward on. in nine, in 1839. Fuck off, so he hasn't got a red red nose? Well, Rudolph, he was a red-nosed reindeer, but he was like um, the fucking Captain well, Crunch or it. the fucking Sugar Monster or Honey Monster or whatever. He was a, he was a gimmick. He was a, a, a spokesperson in terms of like a, a, a character. So the Sugar Monster's a gimmick? Yeah, he's a character, isn't he, that oh, sells a product? A I, thought, I thought they found him in the woods. The Honey Monster? Yeah. Oh, they found him in the woods. You can't. They couldn't call it Sugar Monster. That wouldn't have sold it. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's true. <coughs> well, it's a monster. Though. We're going to be moving on to the news now, yeah. um, and um, we've got plenty to discuss. So, without yeah. further ado, a do do a do a do 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 do and as always, we've been scouring the World Wide Web to find you the most jingliest, bellest news of Christmas time. And some of it's of Christmas, eh? Some of it's not so Christmassy. Some of it's pretty science, eh? Yeah. Some of it's goddamn weird. Oh, yes. Um, weird, we'll be starting off else. with uh, Kanye news yeah, this week. Kanye, yeah. Uh, What's Kanye? What's been up to this week? He's a What's fucking a fruitcake, done? honestly. Um, Kanye West, I get... So, as always... The way we, well, say as always, as the tradition dictates yeah. from last week yeah. and this week yeah. um, of the whole two episodes we've run Kanye News. Oh, yeah. Um, the premise is we Google Kanye West yeah, and we read the top stories related, which tonight was three pages long. Fuck off. Of Google results. Oh, I shit. kid you not. A lot of it it's was a busy repeated. Boy, isn't he? But busy, busy there's boy. a lot of outrage um, about what not Kanye's surprised. been up to. Uh, Kanye West, um, he's got a company, um, right. it, which is probably like, you know, his Yeezys and all those types of yeah, things. Yeah, some yeah. Work all of his Business. back shit. Yeah. Um, faces um, eviction <laughs> yeah, from his from LA, out in his LA offices uh, for lack of payments. So he's not oh. been paying his bills. Yeah, because he's not earning no money because he's been a death threat at the minute. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's been going on a lot of people. Uh, people's been A lot of people have been interviewing him, but yeah. there's been a lot of call for people not to. I mean, I know we're talking about him, but in a, in a we're taking the piss. Yeah. We, you know what I mean? Yeah, right, yeah. We we're having a little jest there. At right? his expense. Yeah. Whereas, you know, interviewing him, 
I would not dream of doing. I think. Um, oh, I think it'd be pretty. It'd be tempting. If I it would be tempting it. to yeah. do it, but I don't think I'd want to. Pierce, jo- uh, well, Pierce Morgan actually refused an interview with him this week. Well, if he's out there in the years, this, you know, if no one else wants to interview, I interview you. I would love to interview you. What you'd have Kanye on? Do you know? I would. Yeah. I probably would. I, to be I, honest, I, if Kanye, if you're listening, questions. come on yeah. and join us on the show. And yeah. and but you know what I mean. Come on the sofa with us, son. We're I'll be honest. Out. I'm not actually a fan. I've never really listened to much Kanye West. I, I was more of a fan in his earlier years, but like, well, he, he went the, like and the and Kanye West um, is getting kind of in shit with Donald Trump as well now because oh, he's Donald. getting um, penalised for hanging with him, hang, chilling with chilling with him. Well, um, but you know, well, funny enough, I, uh, yeah. Well, um, there was a story here actually in 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 the list. Oh yeah, of a fan, um, a Kanye West fan, right. who has been arrested after attacking a Jewish fella um, and shouting Kanye twenty twenty four. Yeah, and I was saying to you, I mean, it's like if it was an assault yeah. on a Jewish man and he didn't shout that, yeah, yeah, yeah. then it wouldn't have made papers. But the fact, no that, difference, yeah. the fact that he shouted that in the same respect as when a terrorist runs into a fucking train station and shouts fucking whatever they shout. Yeah, the editors you know choose I mean? to... It's uh, like, oh, well, we know them. they've got a, an agenda, they've got a kind of, a, you know, something that they're believing in or following in or someone they're following in. Yeah, they're and always this, following someone. This, this was definitely based on the comments of Kanye West's recent statements and yeah. stuff. And basically, it's like... It, I said this last week, it's dangerous. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like you're inciting hate, you're inciting fucking um, race wars. Yeah. It's not really something like Kanye West with that many people hanging on his word or having um, that many followers. But I think he doing... needs to sit down and explain himself. There are people who have had tattoos of Kanye who yeah. are getting them removed. There's a studio in London yeah. that's actually helping people get their tattoos removed. So if you've had a tattoo of Kanye West, you were a fan and you've had a tattoo, you live in the UK. I'm pretty sure that these other tattoo um, studios Around, or removal yeah. studios that'll help you out. Um, but yeah. Um, and also, have you heard anything recently about him? Uh, only that he's just been a, a, a bit of a tick was at the minute. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, he's, he's, he seems to be getting like, uh, kind of worse, you know what I mean? And, like it's, it's yeah. Well, this this guy was an elderly chap who got attacked, um, and you know that's just not on, really, is it? I mean, this no. was in New York. Um, he's he's also Kanye West actually being voted the um, anti-Semitic of the year. I think they've got the right. They should this year. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So it sounds about right the way things are going on, but you know, still early. Someone else might pop the red up, but I doubt it. What do you reckon? Uh, I reckon it, it needs to uh, have, a, have a doctor have a look at him and see uh, how mentally stable he is. Well, that's actually a, um, a statement that has been made here by his previous bodyguard who um, says that he's self-destructive yeah. and um, he definitely needs to go to rehab. But so. I, think, I think quite a lot of it's to do with his, the death of his mother. Well, I mean, that, that can he affect switched. people. This type of stuff can affect people, but it's it goes to show you that he's obviously not got a very good support group, no. that no one's been able to pick up on it or yeah. be able to talk him into getting the help he needs. Yeah, where's his whereas, to talk to? You know, you get a load of yes-men around you, like yeah, especially yeah, totally. in this industry, mate, That's or talks, like the music industry. Yeah. You know, if you're... I, I said this about like people like Amy Winehouse, you know what? You yeah, know when Amy yeah, Winehouse yeah. was having a drug problem, and everyone knew it. Everyone knew it. Still... The drug dealers knew it. Yeah. The entourage knew it. And yet, no, not one drug dealer is going to turn around and go, "Sorry, Amy, but I think you've had enough." Yeah, yeah. They're going to keep selling it to her yeah. because they're making their money, and she's got infinite money. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's the same in these sort of um, situations where you've got. People who are, who are hang, hanger on us yeah. who want to be able to kind of go, oh, yeah, well, I'm mates with Kanye West, yeah? yeah. But they're not really. They're just that guy you'll go, yes, Kanye, no Kanye, that's yeah, the, yes, and, man, and yeah, not yeah. actually think for themselves, yeah, yeah, yeah. just agree or with everything him. he says. So yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe his pals who he's chilling with are going, well, 
and uh, he's me mate, but like he's really fucking lost it, and I don't know how to approach it. Do you okay. know what I mean? I don't know how to tell him, and maybe they In have told him. Mate, you know maybe I mean? they have told him, and he's just Ignored so far it. gone that he doesn't want to know. I well, mean, he need to do a bit more because uh, he's, he's he's ruining his life at the end of the day because. It will affect him for like the rest of his life. It's it depends already, how it ends. It's already ruined his career yeah. in in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, whether he, you know, he could be a gone away tomorrow. You know, the thing is, though, is like um, you know, he could go away and then come back as and people. Hey, yeah, and it might work for him. I mean, look at Tiger Woods. I mean, like his career was over not so long ago for a string of um, you know blemishes on his uh, personal life. And yeah, then all of a sudden, it's like, it's like, it's like well, yeah, but it seems that, like, it's not affected his career as much as everyone expected. Or he might have expected. Yeah, well, yeah, true. And, and to be honest... I uh, mean, not that they're comparable, but, you know, it's like, they're totally different things that they've both yeah, been, had you issues know, outside the, getting in trouble for. Game, but, yeah. yeah, anyway, yeah. So, um, yeah. Moving on, that's Kanye's news this week. Kanye, and um, we'll keep an eye on it, and see out. if there's anything come up in the next Makes weeks. Me sort him out, yeah. Man. Yeah. <coughs> well, sort have you got out. any news that you want to talk about? Uh, well, well, since we're talking about nut balls, or well, not really <laughs> nut balls, but hanging with nut balls. Uh, nut Donald, balls, Mr. Mr. Donald Trump. You you love Donald Trump. Why is he a nut ball all of a sudden? Well, he, he can be a nut ball. Well, can't a, we all? He's a nutty chap, mate. Well, yeah, yeah, he's getting in trouble left, right, and centre. Oh, and last really I heard, they right. were um, investigating him for tax. Uh, yeah, and uh, for you know the raid on the Senate. Um, what was it, June six or something like that? Um, it's like, yeah, like, like you don't know. Like you were in the front of the picket there, going, yeah, yeah go, go yeah. charge! I, mean, I had the sword, go charge! You, yeah, you were like Attack. fucking on horseback, like yeah. fucking charging, leading Hell the brigade. Yeah. Don't hurt anyone, but sort them out. Anyway. Paperwork needs sorting out. Um, but yeah, uh, it looks like uh, that they might uh, choose to prosecute. Uh, I think they should. Prosecution. The guy stood it. up and basically, thing. without saying too many words or you know, basically, you know, looking at it and read between the lines. Yeah. yeah, he instigated that. He he basically said to them, "If you want to keep America, you go take back America." And that, and they went and did it. Yeah, right. Mm. Um, and at the end of the day, he went home and and hid away. Do you know so. He, he he was well, like fucking hell. What have I done? He knew he'd done wrong. He knew that he'd caused that. Yeah, and I feel like he should be in trouble for it. I feel like he should, you know, um, get whatever's coming to him in a lot of ways. It's, it, it, well, it's in, interpretation, I suppose. And it looks like that there's going to be a day in court about it to see um, if they can. I mean, uh, I'm not the only it. person who thinks that. I mean, the reason why he was taken oh, off yeah. Twitter and taken off Facebook and all the other platforms is because. <coughs> I do apologise that he was instigating it. Yeah. And using social media as a way of... Um, well, it depends how you put it as an in, inciting. instigating. Yeah, inciting. You could say one word and make it inciting and actually mean yes, it to something Yes, I understand else. that, you but it's I mean? how you read between the yeah, lines yeah, yeah, and yeah. how you can and kind no of like... And no one's forcing you to do and, this. And I mean, you, we say Donald Trump's not a politician, yeah, right? But he is now. Yeah. He's a fully politician, yeah. right? Um, and... A crook like the rest of him now. And people in these sort of jobs are successful because they're able to spin yeah. things yeah. and make it sound not as bad as it is, yeah. or you know, um, I'll you know, that bit of or info, I'll it's better. It's going better than it is, so they can get investments. Do you know what I mean? And that's what Trump's very good at. Do you know, oh, making well. things look better than they are. Do you want an investment? Oh well, Trump's just dropped the other day. He's oh, he's dropped. NFTs. Yes. Oh, I read this. Uh, yeah, yeah, ninety nine pound for an NFT of him. Like like Superman. Yeah, or wearing a cowboy hat. Yeah. Riding a horse, riding like, a bull. You fucking not bull. Strong like. like bull. It, she, bumping fists with Putin in yeah. one, and then there's one of him having tea with, you know, the North Koreans. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's loads of them. Yeah. Fucking hell, Chilling like, with dictators. It's like, madman. Yeah. But well, well. he, he, he needs to do something about his sales there. That's he needs to do something about the company he keeps. dollars for a... F- one, you know what I mean? It's like I'll sell him some NFTs if he wants. I've been making loads, so if you want to buy an NFT, yeah, come hit me up. Yeah, I'll sort you out. Yeah, this the the, and obviously, you know, I mean, got Taylor, um, you know, riding a bull and wearing a cowboy hat. Oh, yeah, all of that. Oh, yeah, riding a nuke with with my left foot cheek out. 
Yeah, if you want an NFT of Taylor riding a nuke with his left butt <laughs> cheek out, you come and hit us up on neverastraightanswer at gmail.com <laughs> and I will make sure that is delivered to you for a £99 princely sum. Oh, in you, fact, bet, you better for In it. fact, um, what I might Go do <laughs> is is give away NFTs when yeah. people join Patreon. If you want an NFT, yeah. join Patreon and I will give you an, your own NFT for free. Uh, yeah, that that sounds like a bargain. Well, it's not for free because you got to sign up to Patreon, well, but like, yeah. you know what I mean? But you'll get it. Honestly, I'll, I'll give you, I've got loads. Yeah, he has. I make them. He does. In, he does. In, in, in my shed. He does. Yeah. He does. Right. Hammering, right next to yeah, his... a bit of hammer and a nail, a bit of paint, NFT. Oh, yeah, nice little bit of paint. Sweet. Um, so, yeah, a scientist have made a discovery. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, well, this That's is fine. shocking. You, you get ready really for shocking, this. You hope yeah. you sat down. Yeah, I'm right? sat down. My hands because on my ears. scientists have now discovered that snakes have clitorises. You fucking what? And they've just finally found them. So well oh, done, well done, well done for that fella. Who um, found the clit. I don't know why they were looking, but most researchers have uh, focused on the male snake's genitals. Okay. Um, and having uh, you You're know basically uh, female anatomy has been overlooked. Why would the, uh, that overlook you be overlooked? Thought you would have thought, thought that would have been yeah. both. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they've looked into it and they've gone, oh my. Sounding a bit pervy. It is a bit pervy, yeah. isn't it? Uh, but yeah, um, th- this is a PhD uh, candidate from Australian University of um, Adelaide. Oh, that's a nozzle. Um, who yeah. now claims that um, they were the first to be basically find Actually the snake's find the cl- Oh my God. Well, well done, fellas. Well done, in fact. Uh, ladies, maybe as well. Well done. I Ooh. think that deserves a round yeah. of applause. We were looking for that. For I don't know so why you were looking long. for that, but well no, done. Not, we not. We need to know how they, they penetrate. You know. You but know. is it? But it's gonna. That, that's well, pen- we know now. Penetration's yeah. penetration. But at the end yeah. of the day, it's like you know. It's like. Is it like? Hey. Get me Why sn- didn't he just throw a female and a male snake? Ah, uh, rattlesnakes. Yeah. It all makes sense now. Ah, uh, so yeah. It's like rattlesnakes are the rabbits of the snake community, and they go in, the go ra- in. There. Yeah. Hey, baby. I got a big rattle here to do play. Wanna, do you want to come play I, with me, rattle? Have some fun. Anyway, mm-hmm. and moving on because this is taking on, a dark pervert. and twisted yeah, you, turn. You, um, yeah, you pervy, man. Porch pirates. Per- what? Not butt pirates. Porch pirates. Um, porch it's, pirates. it's a Christmas plague. Of yeah. these things happening, yeah. right? Yeah, people having packages delivered, delivered, and, and then stolen. Wankers, or they try pretend to deliver them, yeah, take a photo, and then just don't deliver them. Oh, they're the worst. But the there's worst. a porch pirate here, and this is on um, Fox News, um, which is um, a porch pirate that's striking in reverse. Huh? Yeah, the returning packages that they stole. You sure that ain't Santa? Like, what? No. Yeah, he's no, Santa Claus, isn't it? Santa, yeah. maybe. I don't yeah, know. He delivers, doesn't he? I, will, it, I always kind of thought about this, yeah, about porch pirates. It's, I mean, this, what shit do people order off Amazon, right? Usually stuff Lord, that's yeah. like, you know, anything. Pegs. Cheap shit. You know, tape. Yeah. Could be anything, yeah? yeah? It's just stuff that I couldn't be bothered going Roll to the glue. shop for. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It could be anything from craft materials to anything yeah. at all. To right? Groceries. Paint. Anything, yeah, right. Awesome. So, what's the chances of you stealing my package and it be actually something that you needed or you want was you, of use to you? Well, like yeah. a line of washing line ah. or, or fucking I don't know, so yeah, but anything that won't matter if you've got if you've got something for nothing and you sell it onto some, yeah, but then you've got to find somebody who wants to buy it. But yeah. I mean, this is it, this hey. guy's obviously for. I'll steal the parcel if I want it. I'll have it. But if I don't want it, I'll throw take... it. Well, he doesn't throw it. He takes it back, he returns took... it and goes... So he was taking it and returned it. Yeah. So he was, he's he was the return it. service He'd now. stole from the family previously and then returned it. Because it was day. probably not the not the item he was after. Right. There was the one actually I saw on... Um, if you want to check out doorbell news on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. If you, it's basically ring doorbell cameras, yeah. and it's put together in a news format right, where right. Um, they discuss porch pi- pirates and they talk. Oh, it's vi- funny because videos, but you can watch now. them, you know, in operation. Yeah, yeah. And um, there was a chap there. He opened someone's, you know, it was obviously a clothing item. Yeah. Opened it, looked at it, Too big. like held it up, and uh, it's not really the sort of thing I'd wear, and then just kind of. Put it back in the wrapper and left it and walked off. 
like oh, actually a bit of browsing. Of do you know what I mean? Did a well, bit of browsing. No, yeah, he was he was searching, making sure it was the object that the person wanted. That's well, what just he was be doing. just be careful. I mean, I like to think you know if um, if I'm ordering something that yeah. I'd want to be around got to trust get of the vehicle, yeah, or like you know be around to, to collect it or have it delivered somewhere I'm gonna be. I wouldn't like to leave it out on a porch, no. just for anyone to take. No, so it's too, it's too have, risky. Have you had a porch um, pirate operating on on stole your parcels? Actually, um, I, I'm, my mum might have. I don't know. I've got to find out the rest of the story, but okay. she might have because they, they, they delivered, but they said they delivered to this address and but never actually had a parcel no. there. Where's the parcel then, man? Where's, yeah, where's my parcel? Yeah, See, this is Yet what I mean. It. it happens, doesn't it? But I feel like more and more that now all these ring doorbells and you know we're capturing what's actually it's good going in on. one way but in another way it's, it's big brother again yeah but i mean it's it's i feel like it is a, quite they, a these are the protection. times when we need yeah, it yeah it's more. a valid protection in terms of if someone's on your property and you can you you might be at work but you can go um excuse me what you're doing on me uh drive yeah and that might be enough of a deterrent to shit them up and let them run off do you know what i mean so it's a yeah. it's a deterrent uh, but also, it provides a little evidence for you yeah. to be able to say, well, look, this is the guy. But not only that, it, 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 it'll only be in the turn for so long, and then it's just going to be, something's going to buy. Oh, mate, some of these just come flat out, steal yeah. your doorbell. Yeah. Do you know they what I mean? They're not shit. bothered. Yeah. yeah. Or they just do it. And the, even if the person they comes on the voice and says, um, can you get off what you're doing? Can you put that parcel down? They just yeah. ignore it and just yeah. don't even yeah, acknowledge it. You, so. bro. I'm fucking taking it. All right. Have you got anything else you want to discuss? Uh, well, let's talk about some supposed dodgy people. Uh, Alex Jones. Ah, go yes. on. Yes. Well, Alex Jones says, well, he's he just... Yeah, I was wondering what his take on the whole thing was, actually, because, I mean, I've not seen any interviews after his interview with um, Kanye. See, neither have I to be honest. I, I, I'm surprised. The, well, what's he saying going. here? Well, is this all about not something else? It, 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 this is about the uh, Sandy Hook uh, oh, shooting. Oh, right. Well, the, yeah. well, if you don't know what happened there, uh, Alex Jones basically refuted it. He said, in a similar way, it was a, um, government, that it was conspiracy. a government conspiracy. And everyone else said, well, fucking tell that to the parents of the fucking people that were yeah. involved in it and lost people in it, right? Yeah. And Alex Jones took a lot of flack for that. So what's he saying? He's going bankrupt. Well, um, I'm not surprised. Yeah. I mean, they, he, I kind of rated him when he was doing this kind of, yeah, like, but you then know, he goes too infiltrating far. the Bilderberg group yeah, and, yeah, like, um, really good stuff like that. Yeah. That was great, but then it turned into like you know um, I've mentioned he, he was trying to sell his supplements all the time. Yeah, it was like yeah. really quite sickly to watch. I couldn't really watch it anymore. It was sending me under a bit. Yeah, it was, and it then, was turning. It was turning dark at some yeah. point. So. so, I mean, it's an alternative method of getting news, I suppose. And like you know, we can't well, knock yeah. that because there needs to be more independent news out, outlets. Yeah, and it looks like that uh, that that. That we're getting there more than the regular news, you know what I mean? Because we're all finding out that they are bullshitting and not covering what needs to be covered. They're covering. So, so were you saying basically stuff. how what's happening in how is he going bankrupt? Is this because of legal fees and people just suing him for the? Because he got because he, he, uh, he lost. I think it was Texas. He lost a court case there, and I think it was something like half a million. He he had to pay out or five hundred million. Uh, but then he lost the court case uh, lately where he, he ended up being, he owes a billion. But now the judge has come back again and said, in fact, you owe an extra 473 million on top of that, which is never going to get paid. Obviously not. Yeah, because if he's going bankrupt. But does that not mean jail time? Uh, if you, it, obviously, if, if I'm no, court ordered to pay a, a certain amount of money and I cannot physically pay it, yeah. and I know that, you know, there's when you if you're in court and there's not a judge, Basically. there's not a judge around that won't take an offer. If you say yeah, yeah, oh yeah, a yeah, fine yeah. or yeah, yeah, yeah. owe oh, oh, money, and you say, oh, well, oh, five I can grand only grand afford pay to pay fifty p a week, fifty p a week or whatever. Yeah, yeah, right. Then it's you're the making an yeah, you're making yeah. an offer, right? Yeah. yeah. If you say I'm flat out not paying it, yeah. then they can that can go a whole different way, yeah. right? That's but if you time. make an offer 
then they've got to take it. If you, if you, you, they might ask you to means test and do a means test to yeah, say, check you. see what you can afford to pay. Yeah, right. You might but even say lower for you. If I was a judge and I had to kind of make that decision on whether this defendant had to pay X amount for the rest of the life, yeah, yeah. a month or a week or yeah. whatever, then it makes no sense because. Like you said, it can never be repaid, yeah. right? So they'll therefore, take everything he's got. His they'll house, take his everything car, he's got. Business, all that would be gone. And then, if he still couldn't pay the remainder, isn't that jail time? Well, no, it, it, it would end up being that it, it'd be allowed a certain set amount of money. So it's hide your money time, on. hide so, your assets. So we live on that, and then any excess money, so we go out and work and earn any more of that money, that money will go away ah, to the right. court. Ah, right, so basically, basically they'll have the like court a will pay off. off his, off his yeah. income for the rest of his days. Yeah, that's that. what, uh, how I believe it works. That's serious, I mean, yeah. for making comments. Well, if he refuses... Then yeah, uh, yeah, he's going to jail, mate, and he's getting these. Oh, there's, there's, right certain tonight, things, there's certain things, yeah, that like you know, in conspiracy terms, yeah. that they're just not. You just don't touch. I mean, it's like they're yeah, not even I a could... conspiracy. I mean, it's fucking fact. Do you yeah, know what I mean, and but, but the problem was that like, well, at, that's what at that I mean. Time... I expected nothing less than from Alex Jones's show when Kanye went on there the other day because. Yeah. That's what it seems to be. It's about shock factor by him saying, the, making these these claims or saying this didn't happen or that happened or you, if you notice, he said they're both, about the lost, they're lost both very shooting. similar claims. And maybe Kanye felt like Alex Jones was a safe space where he could say these types of things because Alex Jones himself has dismissed yeah. historical events as fucking never happening. Well, he started. It, 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 it roughly all started in uh, the Las Vegas shooting, where someone was in the hotel and he was shooting down, and he was saying like, "This is fake." Now, I could see beforehand that the, the like a couple of years beforehand as well, but he was just bring, starting to bring it up that there was fake videos out there that government had put out there. And he could prove it. It was actually video uh, proof of one action. I uh, believe, like in Afghanistan, <coughs> that like there were a right. load of terrorists around the car, and then uh, it, it like blew up. But it was actually shown in another video that actually how they set it up and shown all the. So, bits so what it. you're saying is there's two different ways of looking at things, and some people might. No, it not... went too far. Yeah. But he should have done more research. Well, I'm not being funny, into... but I mean. Like this year alone, yeah. there's been 611 mass shootings so yeah. far yeah. in America. Um, and only to, a couple so have been mentioned. At the end of the day, um, you know, I mean, what's he going to say next? That none of them happened and none of them were real. I mean, you can't Well, no, because he backtracked. Say, you cannot say that, like, you know, um, in defense of owning a weapon, that these things don't happen because he do. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And like I said... You know, if you're if you own a mobile phone, how more or more or less likely are you to use it and make a call on it? Yeah, because you own one, right? But, so if you own a gun, how much more likely are you going to sh- use it? It whether or you know than if you ha- didn't have one. Do you yeah, know what I mean? That's the difference. Look how many people who did have a weapon who was a sensible person I'm who not, actually I'm not saying that he's not events, sensible people and then got killed by the police. Oh, because right. they thought they were the, um, they were actually the rescuer. And that's the thing, though, because and this there's quite is quite a few you, of them. You can't go in being a hero. Especially that's the year. thing. And it's like they've gone in being a hero, defuse yeah. the situation, but then they're stood there with a gun in the hand when the yeah. authorities Rounds show up. Rounds have been shot off, so, so the officer's going to shoot straight away. What do you think they're going to do? But yeah. again, it's it's a it's one of those. I don't think like uh, I, I believe that Alex Jones should be uh, held accountable. And yeah. if he's if that means he's being sued and he's going to go bankrupt, then unfortunately that's yeah, yeah, the yeah, case, yeah. isn't it? So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of them things. That's why you got to be careful on what you're saying. That you know what I mean. It's it's, it's it, know what you're saying and and you've looked into it. Yeah, not indeed. just say it out uh, out loud and proud because there are a lot of people out there, especially these days, who would like to sue the fuck. I wouldn't out mind though because there's a lot of um, conspiracy theories that yeah. you know they're quite weird and sadistic and involve people who are around and at the moment. Facts. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, yeah. I know people can I'd, say I'd, conspiracy I'd, facts because we'll go into a story because hmm. I know you've got a lot to talk about the JFK stuff that's coming out. Oh yeah, you know, and 
in terms of conspiracy facts and conspiracy theories. Yeah. Um, it's an interesting one because a lot of the time, like, when it's people who were in the public eye yeah. or in particular politicians, yeah. majority of it is just smear tactics. And you'll find that a lot of these conspiracy Probably. theories are the same conspiracy theory repackaged Oh, they eat format. babies. Oh, yeah. they drink blood. Oh, they do this. They do that. Yeah, and it's like, well, I've heard this now about six times about six different politicians, usually women. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and um, you know, got to keep so, the beauty, haven't they? Got to, you know, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, it's like, oh, I don't use oil of yeah, yeah, I, I use baby fetus. <laughs> yeah, or whatever. Yeah, well, a that's... mixture. But mixture you, you've of got, child's blood and baby feet. The thing is, you've got to admit that there are sick individuals who are capable of going that far, and there are yeah. I'm not saying that there's not, but what I'm getting at that is, kind of it's like a lot of the time, it's it's a case of, um, like you just said, doing yeah. your research yeah. and finding out what's what's Get actually going info. on, rather yeah. than just going. Oh, soon, I've just heard assume, this mate. from this guy, yeah. and I believe it, and oh, apparently. Yeah. yeah, that's how a lot of these things start by going. Ooh, apparently yeah. this happened, and it's like. Well, by, I think a lot of them start saying, by asking the question. Are you saying ooh, apparently? Yeah, right. Mm. You, you're not responsible. Yeah, you're taking away responsibility because yeah, you're yeah, saying yeah, yeah. apparently somebody yeah. said this. Who's, this is what I've heard. They this, they're yeah. saying. I always wondered who they were. Yeah. Anyway, um, got the a world got a story here. G H uh, G C H Q. Oh yeah, we like them fellas. Right, the cold cracking geniuses over there yeah. have come up with a Christmas card. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. lets kids let let lets kids test their skills and see if they could become a British spy. How old are we talking? We're, We're talking, talking high school kids. Old, uh, pupils have been um, having yeah, a, having a crack at cold breaking this Christmas, and um, when they got sent kids. Uh, schools have been sent um, a Christmas card from GCHQ <laughs> with uh, codes and loads of other bits ah, and pieces on it like to see it. if the kids you are bright enough it. to crack it. Yeah, ring this number. Oh, mate, I probably couldn't crack it. I was actually oh. thinking I was trying... Uh, in fact, what I might do is um, try and get me and Taylor a copy of this Christmas card. Oh, yeah, I'd love and to try if it. me and Taylor can do it, yeah, like we'll I'm, post the results on I'm Twitter a- or Instagram or somewhere. Um, no, I, I, I'm going to go for the agency, so yeah. I'll well, no, that's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, we, by putting it up on the, our website, we yeah. can, that's advertisement. And well, yeah, yeah, We've yeah, got yeah. the right stuff. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? We're, we got these stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm already, like, you know, like, in yeah. a position where I could probably be a secret agent. We're internationally known. So no, we well, can no, get covered. Maybe. For, well, not worldwide, no, no, right into the cracks and crannies. Well, I feel the, like the it's right a really good there. idea, though. Like, you know, um, it gives the pupils a taste of what it's going to be like if they were working in that environment, code breaking, ciphers, that type of thing. Yeah, but I, then no, you've got, I, you I know, think university, they should stay in, like, the oh, u- yeah, maybe well, they college. Oh, yeah, do that, I think. I think they do that. I yeah. think they kind of approach kids at university and stuff if they're, you know, on track but to I be getting a of, good, uh, good outcome. I can sort of see how, where they're coming from, get them young, you know, uh, and then we can get the brightest one. But that... You know, when you grow up, they change. You know what I mean? Things go different in your body. So get wait until they get to the, you know, at least the 20, uh, 21 stage. And it's like, bang, give him a test. See if, see if he's even interested. Because yeah. if he isn't interested in well, it. Well, you find a lot of these kids were well interested in it. Yeah, and I think it, it was a, a good agent. idea. Because the Chief Sir Jeremy uh, oh, Sir said Jeremy. Um, the GHQ Christmas card is a challenge that gives um, the pupils a good insight into everyday skills that are needed to complete missions. Well, I'm sure they're listening to us. So we could ask them, could they send us a Could card? you just send you us a You know our card. address. You must yeah. know our address. Send us one each. Yeah, and we'll do it. Yeah. And then we'll see where we get. I yeah. mean, I feel like... And then I'm give us the adult one. A bit of lateral we'll thinking. Smash it, man. I think Taylor will be fucking sat there scratching his head, sweating his ass off, going, I fucking can't work this I'll shit. I'll, I'll get too much in depth of it. I know, yeah. yeah they'll be I just got, like... What's that? that this that's boy supposed needs, to be electric. This word. boy needs therapy. It's a number. That's He's psychosomatic. Not a word, that, this boy needs therapy. Oh yeah. Fucking yeah. Please, please. Um. Yeah. I mean, what did your kids do it? What did they get? I mean, did they yeah. find, think it was hard or anything? I won't. I'm interested. I will. I'm going to try and get this. Be a bit hard. I think I'm going to get this and we'll do that. 
So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, anything that. else? What's next on your uh, Christmas agenda? Of well, news? as you were saying, uh, Mr. JFK, uh, the sad assassination of JFK. Some documents have uh, come out because Trump was supposed to bring bring them out, but for some reason it was held off. But then Biden um, got a uh, uh, he had to make the decision. The other day, if to let any of these files out or not. Well, and I think it's right, right that they let the files out. You've still got a lot more. To hide. Now, uh, the interesting thing is, obviously, um, we've discussed JFK. We've yeah. talked about like the assassination and Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah, Lee Harvey Oswald was a fucking patsy. Um, well, was he right? I mean, he I was. Still think he, was he was. Yeah, potentially. I mean, he was working for like Jack um, Jack Ruby or like yeah. and gangsters and, and yeah, um, CIA, uh, the, uh, the KGB. So I mean, Colombians. like he was kind of yeah, CIA were involved. He was obviously a defector yeah. as well for yeah. the Russians. Yeah, right. So he had a lot of things going on. <laughs> there was a lot of there was yeah. a lot of avenues of yeah. who. And there'd be a lot of lies Harvey as well. Oswald was actually working for, yeah. or was he working at, alone? Was he a lone gunman who just no. had? He was a Marxist. He was like, you know, um, wanted. I would, I would bet my right bollock on it. it, it oh it, no, he was. Yeah, that yeah, right. he weren't the only one there. Oh right, and he well, was the well this is the thing: is there's so many people who could have been like getting in his ear. Yeah, yeah, and it'd be interesting to find those bits out. Like, who was he working for? Why was he? Um, working with them. Um, yeah. Was there anybody else involved? Was there a second gunman behind the grassy knoll? Was well, he was scared. He was scared. That, well, JFK was scaring the, the bad guys, basically. He wanted to well, get rid of the CIA. Get rid of the mob. He wanted new, new currency. Uh, uh, currency, so he'd get rid of the Fed and have a government one, which <laughs> that would have fucked a lot of things up for a lot of rich lot of, people. Yeah, a lot of people. Uh, UFO ten uh, ten days. You got to, uh, to give me a UFO report. So and in all in short, kinds of aspects. in short, there is a lot Vietnam. of different information that we can possibly glean from this this released information. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm going to uh, try and get that on the website as well. I mean, we did the documents from the last um, UFO yeah. uh, drop, and we they're available to download they on are. the website. And I'm going to um, give this a good read over uh, Christmas period, and yeah, then and, uh, uh, we'll try get and bring those. some decent information from it. If there cool. is, it might be just shit, but there's got to be something in there to question that. I think so. Well, so I we'll, hope we'll so. see what happens. And like, say if there is anything interesting, we will yeah, make yeah, sure we'll we get it on the website on. as well. Yeah. Um, talking about science and um, like mad things that are, you know breakthroughs released information and stuff oh yeah um, there's been a breakthrough in nuclear fusion I don't know oh, if you've seen this yes I have um, which means near limitless energy loving it now that is a good kind of um, a good it sounds nice doesn't it unlimited energy free energy for everyone yeah um, it I mean sounds it's not really good. there yet is it I mean like they basically um, had a leap in, yeah. in coal fusion and they've been able to pretty much double their output yeah, basically from, from previous uh, tests. Two which... light, light particles and they smashed them together and for, I think it was less than a millisecond, um, they actually made it for the first time ever. Fair and enough. And it worked. Uh, now they've just got to keep it a constant and then it's going to come, it's going to, yet again, to me, it's going to come down to um, right, well, we can't have <coughs> all these um, really powerful, like, uh, you know, uh, yeah, you got yeah. atomic bombs in that, your that's hands, That's what I'm saying, yeah, I mean, it's like you've got, a if you had shit. these sort of um, plants dotted around Throw the world, a bit of C4 against fucking it. chain wow. reaction, yeah, yeah, and then all of a sudden, so you've got imploded to work ourselves, that. yeah. Yeah, we've got to work around some way of, like, making, making the devices it safe. a lot safer, yeah, and then when that happens... Then it'll come out. But, and to, mind you, you know what? With these daft bastards uh, ruling us, you know what I mean? Oh, they're, mate, they're it's just a good job we've not got Boris Johnson happens. in now because he would have just been like, rrr, rrr, get that, uh, rolled out yeah. by January, please. And yeah, he'd be like, yeah, what? No, no, bugger, we're still it? not there yet, Boz. Yeah, we can get sort of shit out. You know yeah, what I mean? We need um, to make sure it's right. Well, I found, and there have been a lot of technolo- technological advancements this week. Yeah. Um, yeah and one, yeah, another yeah, one yeah, I found yeah. is scientists have um, actually created a vaccine against fentanyl. Oh, uh, that's good. This is good. It's good, is news. good news. Um, yeah, they, yeah. The researchers hope that the vaccine will uh, block the drug from entering uh, the brain, brain. Um, and it could help reduce overdoses. 
Um, so the problem with fentanyl is, right, and you'll see it. I mean, if you Google Kensington Avenue in Philadelphia, yeah, yeah you'll see what fentanyl state, can man. do to, to fucking people. It's fucking the You nation, get that not. dope fiend lean. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You get the Bobby yeah. Brown jaw. And you got my Bobby Brown Man, jaw, jaw, right? <laughs> and then he's, um, you know, they're done. You, you could push him off, push him over, yeah. And it'll be yeah. like weebles wobble. These guys do fall down eventually. Zombie land, but Zombieland. fentanyl. The problem with it is, I, uh, what I can gather is, it's a synthetic, yeah, drug that is um, produced in China, yeah, yeah, and shipped out. But the uh, the the issue it. is. Is it's highly, way more highly addictive than cocaine. Yeah. It might have the same sort of buzz, but it lasts a hell of a lot longer. Yeah. And the people who are taking it, they don't know what the dosage is properly, right? No. So, whereas they might take a hit of cocaine they and know, then be they fine. Know what they got. Yeah. yeah. Whereas they take this, the same amount, and it can kill them. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because oh, yeah. it's so potent. Yeah. So, you know, it's so the idea that much. they've kind of found this way of blocking the effects to the brain. That's a step it's, forward, in my opinion. I yeah. think they should force that. Vac- I'm not a thing about vaccine vaccinations. Do you know what I mean? But I, I, I think still, that's a vaccine they should force upon um, fentanyl users. No, I still think that you should. It's their choice at the end of the day. Totally their choice. Yeah. But I mean, like, I feel. Well, it's a no, helping hand. Well, there. It, it, this is why, right? And this is why I feel like it, it's probably a decent idea, right? Yeah. Because. There was um, a town in the States that had a problem with fentanyl creeping in, right? Yeah, yeah. And they were able to track it back to the um, people who were producing it in China right. and shut them down, yeah. right? Which meant that they automatically stopped the supply. Yeah, yeah, for a little bit. For Well, for a while, yeah. this specific supplier or yeah. manufacturer. And within, like, a few months, they went from having an epidemic... Yeah. to it being completely eradicated. And that was because they stopped the manufacturing of the drug. So therefore, there was none about. Nobody could take it. Yeah. And I can imagine that there was a lot of people going, what the fuck have I been doing with myself for the last few months? Snapping out of it, you getting see- the help they need. Do you know what I mean? So bring, bringing it away, Is getting it-, it, get stopping the, dis- the manufacturing of these things, yeah. synthetic drugs, is obviously the way to go because it totally takes it off the streets if it's not available and they can't make it anymore then no one can take it would you think the ccp government um the chinese government um could be actually what responsible in for with it this? yeah because yeah, if you maybe. think about it look we've said america's said that we're going to protect taiwan if it gets attacked by china china is in, in bits of its own crisis america is and it's 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 a way of stopping a country from setting up an army or bringing up, you know, getting ready, you know, yeah. to, to call up. Because if the same thing happened, well, like I what mean, happened with Russia and it's Ukraine... It's funny you should it's... say that, though, because, I mean, the drug overdose um, fatalities um, massive, rose man. to a record high during the early COVID-19 yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. pandemic um, in 2020, when that rose, overdoses rose to 91,799 which is 30% spike. Sounds like uh, it's our immune system. So, I mean, is that because people were like, you know, on board, going to chill, I'm going to try this fentanyl, hey. Well, new drug comes on the market, you know, kids like to, and some Well, you just don't like know. To, you know. I think if this is it, you're just not educated, and especially with these synthetic yeah. things, it's yeah, like, it's you don't know. Dangerous it's like people go, oh, it's just like, and compare it to something else, and you shouldn't do that because... The, 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 the totally different stuff, things right? within the cells, so you know, when you don't know how your body's going to react to it, so yeah, yeah, forget the chemicals, just go up for the weed, man. Yeah. You know, and na- nature, nature, go nature, man. That's, I like that's that. all you need. I like that. That's all logic. you need is nature, man. Um, yeah. have you got any more news stories? I've got one more before we move into NASA news. Oh, have you? Uh, I've got a few, eh? Um, all right, okay. Well, I have maybe one or two more, but I'm just pressed for time, you see. Yeah, all right, I'll go through quick. Right, well, World Cup uh, tomorrow, France v Argentina, who do you reckon? Well, I I happen to say France out of just instinct, right? right? People are going on about Argentina and how messy is his last World Cup, so he's somehow, yeah, that's that he's somehow like adult world, entitled to win the World Cup. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's the only and, thing that's beat him. And I'm, I'll be honest with you, yeah, shit happens, and I'm sorry, yeah. but sod's law, yeah, yeah. And not always the thing that you want to happen and the best result is ever going to happen. So, yeah. although 
It'd be nice for Messi to win the World Cup, yeah, yeah and be dubbed the greatest footballer of all time, yeah. yeah. Chances are, it's 50-50 in my book. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. I, honestly, I have a feeling, and I have called virtually all of the games in this World Cup. I should have been the octopus on BBC News, <laughs> like calling it. It was like coming, pressing my face up you against have to the glass. You a few more arms. Blah, 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 blah. And I'll go, no, I'll just put my fingers up. I'll go, three, two. two. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. And they'll go, oh, Gaz has spoken. Octopus Gaz has spoken. And then, yeah. I mean, I was even calling the weird matches, like, but, and the upsets. Well, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. honestly, maybe I'm wrong. France, I've got a feeling I will will take it tomorrow. Well, I don't want them to in, win, and the reason in why. In penalties. I don't want them to win, and the reason I don't want them to win, and the only really reason I don't want them to win, is because it, it, it'd it be the first time that uh, a, a cup holder of the uh, World Cup will win it again. Okay. Uh, and like I don't twice wa- in a row? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. want Messi to uh, uh, win with Argentina because of those he reasons. isn't the greatest yeah, in the yeah, world. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? There are, there are a few You're more You're biased players. on both sides, basically. Yeah, yeah, so, you know what? Well, this is it. I kind of want Argentina to win more than either. France because France beat us. Like, but Yeah, yeah, but it's did, usually you beat did you, us. Did you win. see the match today, Morocco and uh, Croatia? No, Who didn't. won that? Uh, I, I believe Morocco lost. Oh, that's yeah, a shame. Yeah, I was yeah. rooting for Morocco to come yeah. third in the in the tournament. Well, overall. I thought they'd uh, they'd come fourth, to be honest, because uh, uh, yeah, uh, it's still a it's great been, achievement. Uh, for oh, wicked achievement! Um, I mean, they parted hard yeah. whenever they won a match um, with hardly any money as well. They, they've had no investment. I, I told you, I love these that, kind yeah. of smaller teams, yeah, or the smaller countries. Yeah. Tells when it'll be like, to, you know, when they're like, um, yeah, in centre forward, we've got Jeff, who's also a plumber on the side. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's got a day job. Yeah. Because yeah, they've yeah. got such a he's small took a population. Week off holiday. <laughs> yeah, he's took a week off holiday to yeah. play in the World Cup. Well, if he gets to the final, he gets through. fired. He's got a flu, so he's going to have to ring his boss on Monday and tell him he can't make it. Is he going to say he's got the flu? Who yeah. knows? Oh, yeah. But let's hope his boss isn't a football fan. Oh, yeah. Imagine if he wasn't. I know, like, yeah. Yes, he's that, like, mate. You're nah, not nah, back he's in just time. ringing up, going, "I cannot come to work today." I, I'd tell I the have the anyway. cold. Yeah, yeah, I've got flu, mate. Yeah, yeah. Me and like a billion people are watching you on fucking national TV. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So like, yeah. Fucking. Um. um go, go on. Elon Musk. Um. Well, there are a couple of things with him. Old Muskie. Yeah, safety of him and his family. Have you seen the little? Clip Whoa! That's... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The safety of him and his family. What are you going to do? Yeah. Are well, you threatening Musky, man? Well, is apparently. He, are you writing him, like, ransom no, notes? papers. The, he, uh, he's taken uh, the media off Twitter, and he's had a massive backlash because he's, because uh, uh, they're giving, he's saying they're giving information of, like, where he, his address and stuff like that. Okay. Because someone I mean, I thought that up. they pay money to, to kind of, like, be prominently placed on um, social media, you know, news stories yeah. and stuff. I mean, if they were just kind of now. users, um, he would be within his rights to remove anyone, I suppose. So, well, you know. He's moving. The, the company's uh, moving uh, out of the county that he's in uh, into a different one. Okay. Because of the amount of uh, restric- restrictions and stuff that are uh, being put on him. Because he's, you know, the bad man of the fucking oh, hour. Oh, right, well. okay. So is it the state that yeah. he's operating in that are, Making it hard yeah, for him, so yeah. he's just going to ru- root it all and take it yeah. elsewhere. Because there's been a video. Have you seen the video of um, some guy pulled up behind him when he's uh, it, when he got his kid out of the car and that, and uh, it was like very menacing and that. So he Being went menacing. up, to, yeah, and went up to the car and the guy was like filming with his own phone and then fucked off. But he uh, felt unsecure apparently, so it was like right, well. Where's the Paranoia he's, creeping he's, in after that joint he smoked be. ten years ago. He didn't fucking smoke that joint. Come on, he he took a pull and he didn't even inhale it. He, ah, he, right, you know yeah, he I didn't, mean? did he? Um, no. I've got a question for you. Yeah, right. Do you know how you make gin? Uh, I thought you just mix it in a bathtub with some cloves or something, and then vodka. You put vodka in the bath, and then yeah. you put some like you know some spices. Old and socks. you just mix it up and leave it for a bit. But I was reading this story and it boggled my mind at first, right? Because right. I was like, what What the hell? So this is a story of an 800 kilo gin ball 
Okay. Yeah. So okay. I was like, what the fuck's a gym ball? I had to read into it. Um, yeah. The gym ball was stolen from a lake. Yeah, so St- I'm already questions, man. I've got questions. Yeah, what, yeah. A, what's a gin ball? Yeah. Why is it weigh so much? Why is it in a lake? Yeah. And who the fuck stole it? Yeah, yeah. right? So I, I had to read on anyway. <laughs> so the, uh, this crime um, comes crime wave. Um, from Lake Constance. Yeah. Um, with a ball that weighed 800 kilograms filled with 230 litres of gin. Nice, why nice. Do, Why would you store your gin in a ball under the lake? Why not? Keeps it nice and cool. So you know, hidden away from the, the people who want your gin. Well, well, this is the thing, you see, because these guys went Ocean's Eleven or Lake Eleven, what? if you like, yeah. to steal it. Apparently, it was a military operation and they stole the, the 800... K- kilo gin ball without anybody noticing yeah and when they went to retrieve the gin because he fancied a top up it was gone so it might have been expensive it might be there might be a special I don't understand why they'd store it there or is this part of the process of making it It is the pressure of having it under the water well it it won't be that much pressure they're still in process I I would have thought that the temperature is always cold in, in, in lakes generally so you know if anybody mean? knows why this is the case, yeah. um, let and us know. And who has it? Because I fancy a bit of gin. Could do with uh, a bit of gin for Christmas. Christmas gin. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't mean, really drink gin, to be honest. I, f- I don't drink gin. I think gin's I one gin of those, it's a popular drink, and it kind popular, of started getting popular again, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, um, Nearly every fucking Who was it? Dylan it. Moran, who says um, gin's, gin's not a drink, more an, um, a mascara thinner. Ah, right. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, the only people who drink it are women at parties who sit on stairs crying, going, this song's all about me. So, well, I must admit, the uh, the, the, the world is coming to uh, be like a lot of women just sitting down and having a gin. <laughs> having a gin, crying <laughs> yeah. into the gin. Yeah. Having yeah. a mope about something. Ah, bless. Right, well, anyway, don't cry. It's Christmas. It is. Even if you're having a gin. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe stick a flake in it. Oh, jazz play. it up a bit. Oh yeah, uh, right. yeah. You got to jazz it up. You can jazz it up. So, if you're Baileys, hundreds of thousand. Stick a bit. Ba- stick a. I had a nice Bailey's the other day. Actually, you know what? I was looking for a Bailey's today. I had mint um, Bailey's. Well, there's only. different types of Bailey's now. I, like think I had um, an orange, like a mandarin Ooh, Bailey's. Um, a taste of that, and I had a, also a, like um, an espresso coffee Bailey's, Ooh, which was really good? nice. Yeah, really nice. It was. Where'd um, you get that? Um, I might um, have to get about. I was at work. Um, right. oh, there was yeah, a day. There was a day. Or, pardon me. There was a day or two this week mm. um, where I was just having drinks thrust into my hand in at work. Thrust um, into And then hand. everybody, t- anytime anyone saw me, I had a rather a Bailey's or a beer in my hand, and I'm like, I'm trying to do my job. Can you like, you know, yeah, fuck stop up? Stop giving me beers. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a big drinker, so you know, it's like, yeah. Well, don't yeah, don't well. don't handle it very well. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's where you get a, uh, you get a friend who's a drunk, and you go, "Here, yeah, mate, I bought you a round." <laughs> oh yeah, there yeah. Just go. keep playing it down the guy who's got a problem's neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a, be an enabler. Yeah, it's not your problem. It's like, a, oh, I mean, it's like, oh well, I wasn't bad at, at drinking until I met Gaz, and yeah. then all of a sudden, I was drinking like five times more. Yeah. I don't know. You just took the drink off it. You can have it, mate. You know what yeah, I mean? Well, I've been friendly to you. Well, we've got some NASA news to cover. Um, yeah, yeah. We, do you know what, right? The yeah. Pentagon, they don't give anything away. This is what makes me think this JFK Part stuff's going to have no fruit. Yeah. Um, the Pentagon's UFO investigation. Oh. What do you reckon they found? Fuck all. Uh, well, they say no evidence of alien activity. Because they know fuck all. And this comes from the um, US Office of direct, um, the of the Director of National Intelligence. Bullshit intelligence. Yeah, and they're saying, like, this is UFO reports between uh, 2004 and 2021. Yeah, only a couple of hundred when there's been a uh, Not number one of, thousands. of them. Not one of them. No. Is alien related? No, because it'd be a fucking hot air balloon. Or, or swamp gas. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, light would bouncing off of Venus. Or I'll take a picture of that plane and say it's a UFO. Right, so um, have you got some NASA Correct. news? Because um, did you hear about this? What? The Russian spacecraft. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they're still blasting stuff up. They're like, yeah. we'll do our own thing now. Yeah, yeah. We're, get, we're making our own station. Man. Started Fuck leaking. Up. Good. Uncontrollably. Good. For like four hours. If not Good. more, 
um, on Wednesday night. Not for the people, um, isn't it? After, yeah, three hours um, on Wednesday night after the leak um, just carried on, started carrying on leaking stuff. Um, so the, a Russian spacewalk was cancelled um, at the last minute on Wednesday night um, when a spacecraft attached to the International Space Station unexpectedly started leaking. Oh, so it's a Russian pod on the International Space Station. Yep. Oh, right, that's different. Um, right. Cosmonauts. Um, that's second time now. Sergei um, Progovsky. Oh, I can't even pronounce that, sorry. Um, Proko... Uh, fuck Dovsky. it. Yeah, that dude. Yeah. Um, were And um, Dmitry Peatlin... Um, were dressed up in spacesuits and they were in the airlock. Oh, yeah. And then um, the flight coordinator told them to stand by for a while because they thought there was a leak. They were like, hey, can you smell gas? <laughs> it's like, I smell can, you still, can you smell steak? Because that's oh. what apparently space stout smells like. Barbecue, isn't it? That's true. So they were probably going well, medium well. I wonder if it's the same um, uh, problem that they had last time. They did the have a bit of a, a week, didn't they? They, they did have a, a leak last hole. time, a hole. Yeah, yeah, drilled. It weren't just like like I just space think it's just getting through. old now. It's like, you know, you get a leak, you get valves well, that like start breaking up and like nah, wear this and tear. This would be a, a, a pod that's been down here and gone back up and they've taken them up there. But for some reason, there's been a leak in there. But then, well, they're very was, lucky, aren't they? Well, pretty much. Yeah, really. Yeah, uh, but Russia has always been not well. The Soviet, the former Soviet, yeah, they're very union, shoddy you know, with the mate, with the with staff the, and yeah, uh, totally. that. They don't care if they lose them or not. Yeah, that's true. And um, we've done an episode and, about yeah, the lost cosmonauts. Actually, if you want to go back and check that out, yeah, yeah um, good episode, man. Yeah, we, we do always do a good episode, uh, don't yeah, we? Don't we? Do. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, I've been looking into a bit of uh, the China race for the future of, uh, of space. Well, they're chilling and, on the dark side of the moon, aren't they? Listening to Pink Void. Yeah, and they've actually, and, and I only just found this out the other day. Um, they actually found a new mineral. Oh, oh really? Yeah, in uh, I think 2019, they found a new mineral which they brought back, tested uh, to see, and uh, there's not another menu, uh, menu, mineral like min that. Min mineral? Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's a, 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 a little bit of science we've got in. A new, well, see, a a little, new discovery. It's been a week of new discoveries, us, isn't it? Could give us some really good stuff, but it could also give us some really bad stuff. Yeah, it's cool though. That they, I good. mean, that like we kind of keep finding and exploring and looking for yeah. new things, isn't it? Um, well, the, the, the plan for China in the next changing up, get some jazz on. Oh, nice! Uh, for the next uh, couple jazz. of bidi ba dum boom boom, skibidi ba uh, babu. Uh, for the next uh, couple of years, is to go on to the backside of the uh, moon, uh, put some more rover, uh, some more spacecraft. What are they going to do up the backside of the moon? They're going to build a base. They're going to plug that base. They're going to do it with three D printers, which I thought was a real good idea. And I think we talked about we it. We did talk about ago. this actually. Yeah, I mean, like you know, uh, but just three D printing. Um, I've seen people build bit like three D printing houses. Yeah, and yeah It yeah, all yeah, depends yeah, on yeah. the materials. Yeah. Yeah, that you yeah. want to use it. I mean, are you going to fill the fucker? They're confident that they can build a base with a 3D printer in space. And if it works, yeah, fantastic. Hey, that rhymed. That using? It did. Hey. I mean, that could be just a out of shell and then build, you know, properly within in case that goes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's true. Well, well I'm going to finish um, the yeah. news. We finished the news. We are. Oh, we're going to finish the show yeah. on um, worst Christmas cracker jokes. Oh shit! I um, can't which remember there is a few. That bad. What? Uh, I can't remember they're that bad. Well, I think <laughs> they're, they're them jokes that you don't want to, you don't remember. You know, I've I've got something to remember. I've got to go for, to the toilet. I, I'll get rid of. That. I I actually like a good Christmas cracker joke. Uh, um, and depends. please, um, if you Christmas Day, yeah, if um people out there have listened to the show, yeah, and they want to send us. Their Christmas cracker jokes, the one they get in the Christmas cracker. Yeah. Tweet us your joke. Yeah. I want to hear as many Christmas cracker jokes. Let's break the world record for number of tweets with a Christmas cracker joke. Let's yeah. get it trending. Yeah, yeah. Let's get a trend going, yeah. Worst Christmas cracker jokes. Ever. Let's tag us, uh, NASA underscore never, and the hashtag, worst cracker joke. Ever. Yeah, ever. Hmm. Yeah. 
And uh, we'll see if we can get it trending. Yeah. But if you want to send it to us, yeah, um, we'd be happy to check it out. Uh, but we've got a couple here. Why was the snowman looking through um, the carrots? Because uh, it was looking for his nose. Because he was picking his nose. Ah. Yeah, let's see. Totally bad. Um, when When is a boat just like snow? Uh, no idea. When it's adrift. Ah, I like it. And yeah, I'll give you one that, more. That's, one more. That's um, right. What happens to elves when they are naughty? Uh, oh, no. Santa gives them the sack. Oh, I'm not talking about the one oh, he keeps his yeah. presents in. Oh. Anyway, that's the end of the show. <laughs> well, here, little boy. Da, 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 <laughs> Christmas time. we got to get a bit blue. Yeah, right, well, yeah. anyway, that's the show. I hope you've enjoyed it. it. Our Yuletide f- give to you yes oh, we have a good you. Christmas yeah uh, happy new year as yeah, well yeah well from both of us here yeah. at the show we do wish you a merry good Christmas and um, we'll be back I don't. Yeah. we won't be back now till I think new uh, year yeah um, uh, I'd say so. So I think it, I think. Uh, yeah, it'll be around be like the that. around that. But we're having yeah. a bit of a break for Christmas. So we are. um we'll see you. And then we'll um, be back we've with got a big actually big one. loads coming up in the new year. Yeah. So make sure Some good guests coming you stick up around. We've been trying to we've been a bit lax on stuff because we've been working on other stuff coming yeah. up and we've had a yeah. lot going on. So like yeah. we've got our two hundredth episode coming up. We have, yes, um, can't wait. we've got an, a selection of the best guests. Yeah, yeah. Oh. a lot of good guests yes, coming up. We we we've have. already we've already got in and booked. Yes, so all to look forward to. Um, if you want to become a guest on the show, yeah. make sure you email us at neverstraightanswer at gmail or go on the website and email us through the contact page. Oh yes, um, we'd love to hear from you. If you've got a story where you know something weirds happened to you personally or in your area, contact us with that. Because Bidibida. we'll be talking about stuff like this next year. Oh, yeah. We got ghost stories galore, baby. And UFOs on the floor. Conspiracy stuff to do. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll be going through it all. Anyway, yeah, in 2023. Yeah, can you imagine? 2023 already. 200 man. episodes into the 200s. Yeah. Fifth year on the job. What are we yeah. going to bring next year? I consider year, ourselves man. professionals at this point. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, it's only getting better so. from here. It um, is. Make it sure is. You, you're there for it all. Yeah. For the evolution yeah. of, of the Never a Straight Answer podcast. The new world order. We're here. Well, this is it. <laughs> you know what I mean? They've been talking about it for years. Yes. We're yeah. here. We're finally here. Yeah. Anyway. Pick us up. I feel like that scene in Rick and Marty. Rick and Marty, 100 years. 100 years, Rick and Marty. Like, Never a Straight Answer. 100 years. Yes. Anyway, we'll be back next time. We will. Um, we're available on our podcast platforms from YouTube, yeah. iTunes, Spotify, uh, your mumify, your dadify, yeah. your brother fi We have um, coffee. Kanye fi uh, Patreon as well, all, all the stuff. If you'd like to support the show, there's yeah. plenty of ways, like uh, Taylor's there just is. said, Patreon, uh, buy his coffee. Come on the website. And Go on the website. Don't come on look. the website. We're not that type yeah. of website. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not unless you're into that kind of stuff, well, though. We, can, you, you know we were talking about having a paywall yeah. to Taylor's yeah. OnlyFans. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, um, we've me. got... I'm going to end it because it's <laughs> yeah. only going to get worse. It is, it is your day. Tune in man. next time. <laughs> you know the dance. We'll you see did. you next time. I've been Gaz. I've been Taylor. Merry Christmas to and you. a happy new year. Ho, ho, ho. Oh.